All right, we're live. What's going on, everybody? How we doing? Welcome back to the worst Magic Arena stream, where today we are going to be uh, slamming some Itali Primal Conquerors onto the field. How about that? Maybe we'll get fortunate enough to flip them. Maybe, just maybe. Uh, this guy's really good, and uh, he doesn't just die to removal because he lets us do two other things and so i thought mm, you know what maybe i'll uh, maybe i'll put a bunch of other things in here that uh, don't just die to removal so um let's say we got kaga yudaro who i mean you know it might die to removal but if not then we can get the uh, nice trampling hasted attack in or maybe fight something it fights and kills opposing Italis, opposing atraxas uh, opposing titan of industries at seven seven so that's pretty good titan of industry here also does a bit of stuff before it just dies to uh, removal. Atsushi here, when it dies, we get some uh, nice on-death effects. If the uh, land creature that this turns into dies, that's fine. We already ramped two. Hell, if we got that creature out onto the field while we got a, while we had a tribute to the world tree down, one of four, by the way, because I'm obsessed with it, then we'll get a uh, nice card out of that anyway, right? Halan and Elena, we'll have to wait until the beginning of combat after we resolve it to go ahead and get its lasting value out of it. But nevertheless, if the opponent can't kill it until they untap, it'll have some uh, some uh, everlasting value after they uh, die. Halan and Elena is going to be Real nice to play after a tribute to the world tree there and enter in as a 4-5 uh, creature, making a good line of play, either Armored Scrap Gorger or Azusa, into a tribute to the world tree. And then uh, the next turn, when Halan and Elena comes down as a 4-5, it can put those counters on either the uh, Armored Scrap Gorger or the, uh, where is it? There it is. The backside of Azusa's Many Journeys. What's good, Gray? How we doing, man? Um, I think I pretty much uh, covered everything. Uh, Sokinzon is very, very good with Tribute to the World Tree. If you have two Tribute to the World Trees out, it uh, draws you two cards. That's pretty nice. We have a lot more forests than mountains because uh, you know, our early game is so much green. We have Armored Scrap Gorger to uh, help fix the uh, the mana situation for the uh, the you know double reds that we see around here. And same with Topiary Stomper. Um, Sideboard, I, I put Howlpack Pipers and Tyrannix Rexes to help against control stuff, even though we're not going to be doing that today. Um, why don't we get into this? Uh, thank you guys for being here. Let's get this started, boys. Let's freaking slam a tally. Let's get some good shit from us and good shit from the opponent. We've got uh, two Coggling Yudaros. Titan of Industry has some nice Itali hits for uh, for us. Alon and Elena won't be a bad hit, though, either. Especially if we have a Tribute to the World Tree on the field. You can go ahead and, in turn, give the Itali we just slammed haste. It's a Trampler. If we can flip it the next turn, uh, oh boy, that'll be, that'll be some power. Uh, we'll take this. Our Armored Scrap Gorger pays off into Itali. Or a tally. Yeah, that's that's who that is. Okay, Atsushi. Let's go to tally. See a uh, white over there. Alright, we'd really like that guy to stay around. The goddamn chat isn't showing up. Okay, you know what? After this game, I can uh, I can fiddle around with that for a moment um, before I get a lot of people. Actually, while this guy is going, let me... Uh... Yeah, shit, you're right. Okay, yeah. Okay, yep, thank you, Gray. Yep, all right. It's not going to be the, the font that it usually is. That's fine. It'll probably be easier to read in that case. Uh, let's see. How long do I want the chat to be on? the screen for uh let's make it 300 seconds that's five minutes all right let me get back to the game sorry don't mean to be a dick here all right drop this odd sushi pass dude already has luca out just noticed all right let's uh okay Oh, it's exiled instead. Nice. Yep, good play, good play. Ah, uh, let's drop another one. OK. 
Okay. Take all that. Go to OBS. Come on. Come on, baby. Um, all. Okay. Every day I grow stronger. Okay. Let's see. How, how are we doing now? Got a nice error on the screen there. That's okay. It went away. Arctic Penguins, what's good, man? Hey, thank you for stopping by. The worst. Magic Grand Stream, my man. Let's go ahead and attack right there. Do we get it? We do get it. Love to see it. Do we drop many journeys? Yeah. Take Luca out of their uh, grave there. Is chat working now? Do I gotta do this again? Let's see. All right, we're we're trying here in the in the background, boys. We're we're, we're working on it. All right, Atali, go! Wow, what the hell is up here, man? This this mouse is doing pretty darn weird. Um, kind of just like every other. Uh, oh, beautiful. We'll discard the uh, the canker bloom. Kind of just every two weeks I switch gray, and but sort of what I feel also. All right, not the greatest there, but you know. We've got a tally there. We can keep those uh, treasures because that might just help us uh, flip the old tally there. Let's see if they have a board wipe. But you can't see chat now. All right. Oh, shit, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a dick. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm fiddling around here, boys. Fiddling around. Really trying. Now, they ain't done nothing with, uh... They have, like, Wandering Emperor mana. We can see that. I'm sure that they're gonna do something about a tally, but, you know, we're gonna force them to fucking do it. Uh, nah, we don't need to, right? Because we can just swing. That's a huge swing. We don't have to spend all that mana into a tally, right? Okay, my bad about that. I didn't mean to keep him waiting there. Sorry. Okay, I'll try to finish out the game. And then do this. So is it Wandering Emperor? What is it, dude? Uh, Alright. Uh, they want to deal three damage to this. I can't proliferate that enough, unfortunately. So they get that. They get the back side of it. They get another blocker. Surprise. Still don't think that that means that they definitely don't have Wandering Emperor. Just means since I didn't flip a tally, maybe they don't have to use it. Okay, they opt to block the Scrap Gorger. Wow, dude's sweating here, man. Yep, yep, it's okay. It's okay. Yep. Good boy. Good man. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate this guy. I like him there. He said thinking. Maybe I should have just dropped Halan and Elena, honestly, just to uh, throw its counters on a trampler. And bring the math two more into our favor. Okay. Maybe he's just throwing in the towel, saying, fuck it. Yeah, he's taking a... Eh, that's, yeah, that's 11, 15 damage. Alright, let me just see really quick if I can't uh, fix up this goddamn chat. Let, let me see. Uh, okay, let's put in the URL of today's chat. Put it on screen. Can you please, please work. God fucking damn it. All right, I, I think it's just not going to work. I, I saw it flash onto screen there, too. That's really annoying. All right, I tried. Let me close the site. All right. Minimize that. All right, we're good. We're good. We're back here, boys.
So thank you for your patience. Doesn't look like we'll have the uh, chat on screen today. Nevertheless, yeah, is, is it working great? Because I saw it flash onto screen and then go away, but I, I'm not watching it uh, right now. Yeah, we have two phenomenal payoffs for Armored Scrap Gorger. Can we actually land them? Let's drop this one first so that maybe we can hold Besage you uh, in hand a little longer. Alright, looks like Scrap Gorger's probably going to die, so we really want to get that uh, third land. Or fourth land. Come on. Come on. <sighs> cool. Alright, let's do this. Unfortunately, we are top decking for lands. It's no bueno. Oh, it is flashing in every message? Okay, interesting. Maybe I screwed up on the uh, the settings there. Maybe I need to have it in for a longer time. Alright, thank you, Gray. Alright, let me, let me uh, after this game... Oh, cool, guys. Awesome. I'm so happy to face some uh, nope obliterator pile. Cool. Alright, pass turn. Okay, we'll sacrifice probably uh, this one, or do we sacrifice Atsushi? Yeah, I think Atsushi. Get the treasures, play a tally. Oh, nice. Good, good job, bro. Nice. Alright, that's pretty good. We get to use one less treasure. I'll take it. Fuck it. Maybe we'll get one of his kill spells there. Coglin Yudara will not um, be fighting that thing, but it will get Trample and Haste. That's pretty good. We'll play that. That's a nice death, nice death touch block on the Obliterator. That's actually incredible. Uh, gains Trample and Haste until end of turn. Thank you. Yeah, this is actually pretty darn nice, right? A one power death touch blocker for Obliterator. That's like exactly what the doctor ordered. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even attack with it. All right. Uh, we gotta find a way to deal with that obliterator, though. It might involve getting a, an Atali out, which means we have to drop a Topiary Stumper so that we can, uh, like, pay for that one. So let's do it! Uh, that's gonna be no attacks! Strobo, what's good, man? How we doing? Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream, man. Alright, we've got another one where that came from. If they attack with Shieldred, we'll block with Coggle and Yudaro. They don't. They know that. Alright, wow, alright, alright. I mean... Are we just dropping a tally here, or do we go Tribute to the World Tree? Because they have Shieldred out, so we should probably just drop a good old tally there. See what the hell we get. If we could kill their uh, Phyrexian Obliterator, that uh, kind of unlocks attacking. Okay. Uh, not bad. All right. I mean, we'll draw cards and they won't, so I'll take it. All right, we'll ramp our deck here. That's good. One, uh... Two, I think that means uh, next turn we can go Tribute to the World Tree, then Halan and Elena. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll take it. No uh, attacks. Pass. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll take the one. That's fine. That's good. You have another one of those? You got one card, man. You just lost your Death Touch blocker? Okay, okay, we'll take it. We're, we're losing. But we got this going. We will not draw a card with Halan and Elena, which is perfectly good. And then we will equip it with the Transmogrant's Crown. Oh, yes. And we will begin to attack with a Tally. We'll have to uh, sacrifice five things to Phyrexian Obliterator. That's okay. 
Um, this. There. I have to sacrifice a non-token creature. Well, that's probably going to be Ashnod. It's either Ashnod or Kogla and Yudaro. I kind of like a... Uh... I kind of like Kogla and Yudaro, honestly, because um, are they going to block with that thing? They probably will. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to need Ashna in order to block the Obliterator. Okay, right there. And we do attack. Or do we flip it over next turn and then just smush them, right? Because um, we do have nine right now. So maybe we, uh, maybe we no attack. Right, because we can take the Fire Axe and Obliterator. We can go down to six, draw a card, go down to four. They better have something good, because I'm flipping a tally. Okay, this better be good. Uh, many journeys doesn't matter, so. Come on, baby. Let this go through. Come on. Come on. Didn't you didn't just draw a kill spell, right? Yes. Alright, that's a twenty-three. They'll have to block fourteen in order to not take lethal poison. Right now they have eleven on the field. Eleven toughness. So they need to exile a tally who is currently indestructible. Oh, nice block, bro. Oh, good job. That's a really good card. Yep. You need more? You need more? Okay. What's it going to be, buddy? Going to exile a creature? Oh, nice. Good, good job. Oh, boys. That's a lot of poison. That's a lot of poison. Sacrifice five permanents. Okay, two, three, four, five. Good job. Wow, that was a, that was a good block. Nice, man. <sighs> but he let us swing through. So that is very nice of him. I'm going to uh, attempt to fix chat one more time. Thank you guys for your patience. Um, right, Let me open the uh, previous window there. Okay, um, fade in time. Okay, maybe maybe that'll work. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Come on, just do it fast so that I don't lose the viewers. Come on, baby, come on. We got this. Come on. Okay, now let's just make it something else. Oh! Oh, boys! Boys, oh, the God, I'm the best. The best streamer in the fucking world. Jesus Christ. All right, thank you for your patience. That's really annoying. That's so tedious. It's like playing a blue player. We did it. We got we got the freaking uh we got the freaking poison shot with the tally in too. Feeling so good about that. Oh wow. Uh, I mean, if we get the land for Topiary Stomper, we're gold, so I am going to keep it. And if we don't, then it sucks, and then we, uh, we can leave pretty quickly. But we, we're going uh, first against red there, which is a uh, really big deal. We get a uh, Journeys out. We'll gain three life next turn. We like that. About switching to whatever format you want for a whole two weeks. I don't get how you wanted to fight the same fine decks over and over. It's more that, like, I like what I can play in Standard. 
I, I really like 60 card constructed is uh, why actually all the decks that I own in paper are pretty much 60 card constructed. I own zero commander decks. Um, oh, okay, okay. Um, we might want to get this guy down and then next turn drop this and then attack with it with the stomper right at this. Yeah, let's do that. All right, because this brings down land number five. We have enough green. I think we can probably grab a red, just in case uh, we happen upon a uh, one red plus two red play. Helena and Elena's one red, Atsushi's two. I don't know. I don't blame you for having that opinion of standard, though, Gray. I, I, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're obviously completely right. Woo! Johnny, hey, man. Afternoon back at you. Thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, okay, invasion of Zendikar, and then flip this. Civil Savage, aggro. Aggro. And what's this? Aggro. Well, that sounds like standard. Uh, that sounds like you're describing what, what, what I'm currently experiencing. Wow. My mouse is double-clicking to... Wow. I'm going to have to... Uh, yeah, let me uh, freaking unplug my... Holy shit, dude. What is going on with this mouse? What the hell is happening here, man? This really is the worst Magic Arena stream. I think he might take that, right? Because this grows... Okay, space bar, cast it, yeah! Alright, do we want to drop uh, another many journeys? Uh, no. Let's keep open the uh, the big 4-4 four, four, uh, Vigilance attackers here. So that way, even if they cast a bunch of instants and sorceries, we can double block this thing. Okay, and the festivities. Okay, uh, well, I want to block that. Um, so I think we will. Uh, this, you can go ahead and block that. And do I block that? And no. Do I? I mean, I can still bring down a tally, but I'm not going to kill it, so. There you go. Okay, Topiary Stomper is going to live. So we just took a play with fire, two damage, and a scry out of their hand. We like it. A tally. Uh, okay. Hey, it's more butts on the field, boys. As far as decks I own, I have four modern. Wow, okay, and three commander. As far as decks I own that actually work. <laughs> well phrased, I like it. I have one commander deck. Wh which one is that that actually works? I wonder if you're doing anything Gitrog Monster in uh, in paper since you're uh, working towards that in Arena, right? I'm pretty sure that was you, right? I think you were talking to me about that very recently, a couple of days ago. God, I'm just happy that I got the freaking gosh darn chat. Uh, I gotta pat myself on the back for that again. Uh, I, yeah, sure. I mean, we get Kanker Bloom turn two, something on the field, and then drop Topiaries. Atsushi's ready to go here. We already have two source of red in hand. My mouse is really get being a pain in the ass right now. I'm kind of annoyed. I wonder if there's some setting that I accidentally clicked in the game. It looks like it's clicking every so often. I'm just holding down the button. Hmm. All right. Uh, you. Can it actually hold? Okay, sorry. I was just checking if it would actually hold the thing up. All right. We're going first against red aggro again. That's crazy. All right. A swift sphere. We will block. Uh, we will block. No, we will not. Okay. This next turn is going to hurt. As a matter of fact, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're uh, not feeling super de duper de great. Uh, let's grab the green there. I have projects for Tesa, Orzov, Scion, and the Gitrog monster. All right, they're uh, they're getting a lot of damage this turn. That really sucks. 
they're they're low on cards in hand, but they're uh, dealing a lot of damage. That's going to be six more damage. We're at freaking five. We're going to get Atsushi down. That's great, but we're still taking some damage. I think they have a good shot here. Yep, that'll uh, that'll do it. There you go, dude. Good game. I can't. We attack or block with the topiary, and it was Sokin's on. There you go. Good game. Oh, we didn't beat him that time. Topiary is a tough drop to just drop there and not have it be able to attack or block. It is really nice, though, to have a uh, ramp one land on a creature stick that does draw us a card at a tribute to the world tree, though. Although, you know, if you're doing it like that, you're probably playing a hulking, lumbering mid-range game. Like Big Fat MTG always freaking does, right? Tribute to the world tree doesn't really develop your board state. Topiary Stompers, a lot of the time, isn't even putting down an attacker or a blocker. And I love me my tribute to the world tree cards, man. I have the full list for Tisa, but not for the Gitrog, okay? But I have the whole list for Historic Brawl Gitrog Monster, and the Commander deck's basically just going to be... Right, yeah. Makes sense. There's a lot more cards in paper. Oh, yeah. Richard! Hey! What's good, man? What the hell? It said three P... Did I? I hope I didn't get it wrong. I think I got it right. I demand you use the clock in Boulder... Colorado. How dare you use Pacific Time? I find it I find it more reliable. That that's what I think. I, I don't care about timings from those flyover states. Also, how you doing, man? Welcome to the worst magic restream. Nice to have you, man. Oh, and he also said unsub. That's why I called his 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 uh state a flyover state. Also I have to go get some... Hell yeah, Gray. Have a good one, man. Why does the University of Boulder even have a universal clock if you don't use it? Okay, thank you, Gray. It said it said 6 p.m. Richard's rabble-rousing. That's what, that's what he's doing. Okay, well, that one ended in a draw, so uh, let's get right back into this, boys. Woo! At some point today, it's not a big play, but... I, I would like to feel the the tribute to the world tree satisfaction of dropping Titan of Industry and getting a the uh, the beast token also right and get two cards out of the tribute to the world tree. You know, I really wish that I had more than one gosh darn um, Titan of Industry. That's it, man. Okay, okay, we're we're looking there. Death touch, toxic, proliferate. Yep. Oh, what fun! Canker Bloom! Hopefully we can swing wide around them uh, for when this hits the field. Alright, we, uh, we will attack here. Let's start by uh, attacking. That's right. That's right. You don't know what we're going to do, man. Is it Tyvar's stand? It's not, but he doesn't know that. Don't tell him. Wow, okay. Maybe maybe tell him. Uh, honestly, it might help the decision-making here. If somebody could just let, let him know that they, there's no indestructible that's going to be happening. He can just have a, a clear think of what exactly to do. Yep, we absolutely trade. There you go. Another canker bloom past turn. I would assume they drop the bloated contaminator. Uh, we're gonna need a big threat, though. We're gonna need to top deck an Atali or a uh, Kogli Yudaro, pretty much. All right. Beautiful. Speak of the gosh darn rootin' tootin' devil, boys and girls. Got him. Uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, yeah, let's just get some greens. We're good here. Good on red. No attacks. Also, might have to do with NORAD. 
Colorado Springs. You really want to be on time with NORAD. Just saying. Anyhow, and he gives me the uh, Cheshire Cat. And two hearts. I like it, Richard. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I, I feel like I work pretty hard for those uh, for those nice readings there. I'll take them. Uh, we take that. We get two toxics and uh, four damage. All right. Forest to tally. Let's do some good stuff, boys. Yep. Forest. Wow, that would have been... A Wow, if that was one card deeper in the deck, we would have been able to cast it with a tally. Wow. I mean, there's a play for next turn. Oh, stop. Stop! We're fighting the Rot Priest, by the way. We're fighting that fucker. Because then I can get a clean swing in with Canker Bloom on that shit. Uh, although, do I... Why don't we just give it Trample and Haste? Nah, fuck it. Get rid of the Rot Priest, just in case they have some shit going on. Let's see. Do, do you have targeted spells? You got a Tamiyo safekeeping there? Alright, so I should have given it Trample and Haste. Uh, yep, because then we just swing in, irregardlessly. No attacks. We won't be able to flip a tally, but if we drop Invasion of Zendikar. Okay. That's pretty good, but he tapped out for that. Still, that's good. Wow. Wow. There it is, boys. Love to see it. Um, are we going to do that after combat, though? Um... Are we going to do it before combat? We should do it before combat. We're going to have to uh, legend rule it and keep it in. Or else the fight won't happen. Uh, it fights, target creature, you don't control. Boom. Now that we've seen this sort of shit, we neuter it. Beautiful. A tally can go ahead and attack that. Give us a better chance of flipping it next turn. Uh, yes. Yes. I would say they let that happen. Mastermind. That's land number eight. Yes, it is a land. As long as it's on the battlefield, it's a land in addition to its other types. Okay. Yeah, I see that I'm missing chat here. Um, okay. Come on. Oh, we didn't get the land. We, did, we didn't get it. We didn't get it, boys. Uh... Do we attack? I don't even mind this and then uh, attacking with this, too, honestly. Because we're, we're not swinging for lethal here. I can't really attack with a, a tally, though, because they'll double block it, in my estimation. So I will attack with this. I am fine with that being double blocked. Okay. They can flash this back. They have the corrupted abilities of flashback here. Okay, and proliferate. All right. But they're very uh, starved on lands there. We've been very fortunate. We got two of those invasions and a stomper there. Okay, I don't see the uh, toxic happening. Can I uh, pay the life so I tap less things? Beautiful. Oh, it didn't matter. Okay, great. Fuck. All right, we attack. Because I have to uh, devote one blocker to a tally. They can go ahead and get a good block with bloated contaminator. 
And we're smashing through with a lot of other shit, and we still have stuff on tap to block. Alright, he says fuck it. Woo! Ah, oh, it's UC. Okay, I, I read the chat now. I still win bets. Holding my breath at... Wow. Wow. Got that altitude training. Yep. We did it, boys. We flipped a tally. Again. We're doing it without Gwenna today because I wanted to put a lot of stuff in that doesn't just flat out die to removal without either making value immediately or, you know, in Halan and Elena's case, if we make it to the beginning of combat, we get the lasting value. You know, Canker Bloom can sacrifice after it's targeted. This will still give us the, uh, you know, the effects of the saga. This one doesn't really have the lasting value, but Seslavai, okay. It couldn't be perfect. We really want the Armored Scrap Gorger to pay off into Halan and Elena. Really badly. But if I top deck a land next turn, I'll go Azusa's Many Journeys. And then Halan and Elena. Up, oh, no, no. This one, thank you. Alright, pass turn. We're going, boys. We're doing it. We're slamming Italies today. We might give them a plus one plus one counters in, with Halan and Elena. Yeah. Um, do we really drop Armored Scrap Gorger against that? No, fuck it. I'm rolling the dice. I'm rolling the fucking dice. Yes! Okay, that's one dice roll, but I still need to win another dice roll. Wasn't really that smart to roll the dice like that against Black. It probably just dies now. Sorry, but I didn't top deck the land, okay? So I wasn't sure that Azusa's main journeys would actually get it. Yeah, it, it didn't get it. Um... So that sucks. Uh, do I drop Canker Bloom? Yeah. Yo, just tap out for Phyrexian Arena. Also, let me draw the land, please. Pretty please. We have 25 lands today. I forgot to show uh, that page of statistics before we started. But yes, 25 lands for the slightly extra chance of, uh, you know, the Azusa's Many Journeys actually being useful, Chapter 1. Wow, okay. Um, looks like the application's having issues, like it always does. Okay, there he goes, he's back, all right. Man, we haven't had any tribute to the World Tree gaming yet. I think we had it in hand at one point against an opponent with a shield drid out. Okay. Wow, just nothing. Alright, is that Halan and Elena? I think it should be, but doesn't it just die? Do I really do Halan and Elena? Maybe I could just do two Azusa's many journeys. Let's attack. Hey, I don't see a world where Halan and Elena doesn't just get, drop dead immediately. And look at this. Uh, okay, yep, there's nothing really to do there. I think we'll just drop both of these. Get those cooking towards the 3-3 uh, three, three creatures. The life is okay, I guess. They're running Shieldred, the life, will, the life will be nice. It'll entitle us to a few more card draws. And we know. Drawing cards is the best. Wow, Jix. Alright, dude. Yeah, we're not doing too well, to be perfectly honest. Um, we need a uh, Invasion of Zendikar to like, just ramp those lands out. If Halan and Elena lives, um, it'll have uh, some creatures to put uh, counters on. Okay, they can get this attack in. Yep, so they do. I, th I think he might have just double-clicked there. Yeah, you know that you got it. Good boy. Good boy. 
Yep, he draws his card. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, at least we get to uh, give one of these things plus two, plus two in haste. Well, not plus two, plus two. Even better, two counters. Attack! Okay. Shieldred, I have to sacrifice a creature. It kind of stinks a little bit. Uh, this one, I think... If they attack with Jix, they're going to go down to 9. We're going to make this creature pretty big. It'll be a 7-7. Seven, seven. I assume they'll block. Alright, we're almost at the freaking gosh darn Itali. Uh, attack. Alright, boys. Give us the land. Give us the land. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me the gosh darn land. They didn't even attack with Jix. Oh, shit. You know what? Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. That puts land number seven on the field. We'll make it a 6-6 six, six Vigilance. I fear for Halan and Elena's uh, health here. Yes. Yes, you discovered my master plan, he says. All right, we attack. If they want to double block the topiary stomper, that's fine. Hell yeah, Gray. What's good, man? Let me, let me get that. What's good? Big fat bastards. Big fat ba Oh, yeah. We want Jix dead. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, we untap lands. We like doing that. It doesn't really matter here, but, you know, it, it's satisfying. All right. We got land number seven on the field there. Big fat bastards. Big fat bastard It's me, Gray. And I'm back to the worst. Magic Arena stream. Pleasure to have you, man. Thanks for stopping by again, man. Do any libraries have uh, enough cards in them for old Shieldred there to flip? No, she needs eight cards in anybody's library. Or graveyard, sorry. We're not there yet. All right. They have four mana. Can they drop a Shieldred, I guess? Uh, yep, that'll be you. Come on, no more. No more killies. No more kills. Boom. Okay, tribute. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Should have been, damn it, should have been tribute first. Oh, so I should have clicked tribute second. Whatever. Uh, attack. Oh, loving it, boys. Loving it. Damn it, that's right. I have to click freaking tribute second. Oh, oh my bad. Wow, I really breathed into there, by the way. Like and subscribe if you enjoy me breathing into the mic like that. There you go. I hope we've liked the video, though. Do you, do you guys like when we flip a tally? I like flipping a tally. I hope you do. We've gotten uh, we've gotten some lethal poison uh, with a tally today. I, I feel pretty good about that, man. I think we smashed someone with seventeen poison. I think that was after they blocked, unless it wasn't. I don't remember. Oh, thank you, Gray. Thank you, Gray. He said nice. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, we'll keep it. black, so I probably want to drop Azusa's instead of the Scrap Gorger. Yep, yep, that guarantees it. Beautiful.
Herbrest's Forge. We'll wait a second before uh, Kinker Blooming that, I think. Ooh. Um, I think I still go Invasion of Zendikar, because then next turn with six lands, I can go Tribute to the World Tree plus Canker Bloom, and then uh, destroy the Forge. So let's go ahead and get another green, and eh, we might as well get a red. That was a pretty sick Zendikar, Chris. Or Civil, sorry. <laughs> yep, I can read. Soren, who we need to get at ASAP as possible. Well, we can't sit here with the nope wars. I assume Liliana's soon to come, and this just sits on the field. Pissing me off. We'll pass the turn with Canker Bloom out. We can go ahead and pass there. Because I wouldn't mind having Canker Bloom attack in at Invasion of Zendikar if they don't destroy it, and then destroying Urabras Forge. Alright, doesn't that make them sacrifice a creature? Yep, it does. Yep, they know that we'll sacrifice Canker Bloom. When does this ult at seven? Okay, uh, what was that? An artifact? Um, that was an artifact creature, right? So I have to uh, sacrifice this right now. Uh, destroy target artifact, right there. All right. Uh, we could do another tribute to the world tree because we have to really get cooking now in order to uh, attack in at that Soren. Yeah, we got to really get cooking here. I'll uh, yeah, we'll we'll drop this one because. They're looking to uh, minus seven that, so if we can gain any amount of life, I'd say that's pretty good. Another tribute into Canker Bloom, said Greg. I agree. Hopefully they don't have the answer for Coggle and Yudaro. I think they might have the answer for Coggle and Yudaro. Nevertheless, we're going for it. Yeah, I think they'll have the answer. But we do draw a lot of cards. Oh, no, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. Trample in haste, Jesus Christ. Because either way, if they're going to kill it, yeah, we would have never gotten the fight off. Yeah. All right, Helena and Elena's not bad. Do we want to attack in at the invasion? Because they're obviously going to block if we attack the planeswalker. But at least that gave us a chance there. Um, I think I want to proliferate this right now. Because we'll uh, we'll get more cards. Uh, yep. Yeah. Alright. We've got another Canker Bloom in case they do more uh, Forge and stuff. Alright, they drop another blocker. We're, we're not thrilled. Okay. I have to sacrifice something that shares a creature type with that. Oh, what fun. Alright. 
But can we get a Trampler? Can we get Kogla and Yudaro here? That would fuck them up. Oh, wow. Hey, a Flying Trampler. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, we, have en we have just enough to do it. Loving it. Loving it, boys. Loving it. They must hate this. It's going to kill that with exact Z's. You'll love to see it. Not letting that shit happen. Oh, God, there it goes. The card advantage. Bye-bye. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. If they kill Atsushi, it's treasure tokens. Yep, we will sacrifice Atsushi. Treasure tokens for maximal stuff. We have two tribute to the world trees. We don't need the exiled cards here. Deck, I love the Armored Scrap Gorgers. Yeah, because we have good shit to pay off with the Armored Scrap Gorgers, Gray, into a uh, four-mana turn three play. Halana and Elasian, Lena, Invasion of Zendikar. And Atsushi. I mean, they're all freaking phenomenal plays. Whereas I feel like Doomscar isn't as good of a four-mana play after a Doomscar Warrior, or after an Armored Scrap Gorger, right? Because you just, like, put the counter on Armored Scrap Gorger. It's not too great, in my opinion. We're attacking for lethal damage here. Just with the 11-11 Atali that it'll be, plus uh, Halan and Elena, which will have, uh, yeah, four power. That'll add up to 15. <laughs> boys we did it boys we did it we did it Wait, tributes two tributes is incredible yeah because he had the nice soren the mirthless there he was uh he had this shit there he had nice card draw for himself man yeah the Urbrass forge but we had the freaking canker bloom man i love that it just that canker bloom it just goes perfectly with tribute to the world tree once i saw it i it's so hard to unsee the perfection of canker bloom after tribute to the world tree absolutely gray it's it's so key that it's actually like the fundamental thing that it all boils down to the card draw amen man yep amen we did it dude Yo, how about that 8-8 eight, eight Atsushi flying in, hasted trampling when they had tapped out? That was a pretty incredible top deck. Let's not even lie. We got kind of lucky there. I'm going to keep this, even though it's a two-lander. You know, if the Armored Scrap Gorger dies, we have a couple of turns to draw the uh, land. Okay, well. Oh, God. All right, well, I would imagine we won't draw the land then, because I guess they need to win. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Oh, wow. Is that it gets plus two? Wow, that's pretty solid there. Hey, you know what? At least he's doing something slightly different. I'll give the dude credit here. Uh, I'm going to be real with you, boys. We're already done, though, because our armored Scrap Gorger can't even block that. What are we going to pay off the Scrap Gorger into? Whatever we have in our hand here, they don't advance our board state. We're getting slaughtered by that thing. We honestly might as well just leave it. So, about the title. Ranked best of one. Okay. Is that meant to be read as ranked boon? Wow. Hey, you're about as good at reading as I am, Richard. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, that sounds good. And aggro, says Civil. And, yep, and another one. And, and uh... And another one. Yeah, I think with that one, though, we just didn't stand a chance. And we can go ahead and get the hell out of there. I I mean, we do have two Canker Blooms to actually get something on the field before the invasion of Zendikar. It could work out. It's not the greatest hand here. Uh, that's good. Jesus, this mouse is just double-clicking for me all over the place. Wow. Alright, we're milling over here. Yep, alright.
All right, armored scrap gorger. We're gonna pl we're gonna pray for armored scrap gorger, boys. We want it to pay off into invasion of Zendikar badly, quite badly. Okay, that's not good. We're gonna pretty much need to uh, flip a tally before we can deal with that shit. Go ahead and grab the uh, the reds here. Uh, let's get that one out of here. Unfortunately, we're giving them card advantage now with Glissa, and we don't even have a guaranteed a tally next turn. Do we? If Armored Scrap Gorger lives, we have a tally. They just dropped another Glissa into the graveyard, so our uh, odds of having a Glissa to combat their Glissa via a tally. Not looking too great there, but, you know, nevertheless. Pray for the Armored Scrap Gorger, who uh, is doing some seriously heavy lifting today. Giving us the invasion of Zendikar and possibly giving us a tally here. Come on. Ooh, wow. Wow, all right. Well, go ahead and get rid of old Rutstein there. All right, come on, baby. Give me something nice. Oh, I'll take Halan and Elena, baby. Uh, wow, tear asunder. Yeah, sure. We'll uh, tear asunder on... Uh, I don't think there's anything to tear asunder on, right? Uh, yeah, so we might as well just uh, not do that one, right? Yeah, decline. Uh, do we put it on that? Yes. Do we attack at this now, or do we attack at them? I think if we attack at them, that's a little more powerful. Because it puts some serious pressure on them, right? They might have to think about whether or not they want to block or attack with Glissa. Civil Savage says Glissa is woefully undervalued, in my opinion. I love the card. Yeah, I wish I saw more of it. Um, yeah, Civil Savage, I'm working on a... Um, a video that um, is a green-black trample death touch thing that I've done on stream before. Just working on a pre-recorded version of it with like nothing that's been on stream before. But it uses uh, four copies of Glissa alongside four copies of Audacity to uh, force the damage through. I took the number of uh, Surak and Gore Claws in that deck down to a two. We're going to tally again, boys! I think we have lethal here. I think we just swing. Yep. He knows it, too. We just give a tally uh, the plus two, plus two counters, and Armored Scrap Gorger is about to become a uh, three-power attacker. Halan and Elena some nice two-power, and they're not going to be able to uh, deal with that. So, yep, that was a big W, at attacking with a tally at the face rather than the invasion, which I was seriously, uh, seriously tempted to do. All right, I, I feel good about that. Feeling real good about that, boys. Hell yeah. All right, another fifth copy of something. Great, cool, awesome. Oh, man, that's the set that Titan's from. And Jetmere's Gardens. Give me Jetmere Garden, please. Oh, Richard, wow, I have honestly never played a tally. Hey, man, don't you worry. No one's going to hear that. Man, you know what? I, I hope that you can enjoy this then, man. But yeah, Tally's crazy, dude. Especially if you have four of them, because if you cast another one of your Tallies, you know. Uh, wow. I mean, going second, this is this is like not really good there. Jesus Christ, dude. Fine. We're gonna have to fucking royally pray for land top decks, but whatever. We'll drop Titan. It, it might just be over if I mulligan down to five, you know. We're not feeling too good. That was a big feel fail, sorry, I can't read, <laughs> on their part. They had Glissa back. Yeah, they should have held Glissa back, yeah. Yeah, there wasn't a lot that I could do about the Glissa there, man, yeah. I mean, at least until I flipped a tally, but they had an exile there, so, yeah. Damn. All right, we got two land top decks. That, that was the dream. Now I can consider if I want to drop Tribute to the World Tree or Invasion of Zendikar. If I get another land top deck, it's Invasion of Zendikar, because that leads to a tally the next turn. All right. A tally's going to have to do some real good shit. Like, really good. 
Because they have Adeline out, so that's very bad for us. They stack two more power on Adeline there. And now, the creature... Yeah, this is bad, boys. This is bad! We're gonna need something amazing! Scrap Gorger sucks. Fateful Absence, that's good. That kills Adeline. Scrap Gorger's a freaking blocker. We'll take it. I think next turn we can attack with this Itali at this, flip it over, and then hit this Itali, maybe. That's assuming they don't kill our Itali. We obviously see that they're running the Fateful Absence. That was actually a pretty huge Fateful Absence, boys. Wait, you have? You have four, Richard? You have four Italians? If you have four Italians, dude, that's freaking incredible. Good for you, man. It's, it, it says you have four of them, it seemed. Am I misreading that? Am I forgetting the context here? All right, what are we going to do, man? They don't want to attack. Oh, beautiful. We could go tribute Atsushi here. Um, I honestly want to attack with Italia at this. See what they do. Let's see if they block it big time. Uh, do I want to attack with that? No. Can't really lose the blocker here. All right, let's see how much they want to invest into Italia here. They have these guys at first strike, but they don't have enough first strikers to take out a tally that way. My decks can only win while Mars ascends into Pluto. Fair enough. There's a time and a place. All right. That's going to help us uh, flip this tally next turn. We'll keep this one. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah, sure. And we get a Topiary Stomper. A nice Vigilance Attacker blocker. Hell yeah. Thin out the Library. Love to see it. And we get another blocker with freaking that thing. That put two creatures onto the field. That's so good. Okay, they have Sarah Paragon, but we can throw out Sushi into the air to, uh, deal with that. Also, why don't we right now take Adeline... Wait, we can't take Adeline the hell out of their graveyard, can we? Can we? Yeah, we can't. Okay, okay, because that should, uh, what is it? This guy's preventing that. All right, that's fine. Uh, do we attack with a tally and force a major block? Um, or do we go tribute to the world tree and Atsushi? I don't mind tribute to the world tree, Atsushi. I don't think we're actually going to really swing in for a totally lethal here. Coggling Yudaro, that'll be very nice next turn. In the meantime, let us attack with one, two. Uh, do we attack with Italia as well? I think so. We have enough blockers here, do we? We might not have enough blockers, honestly. Might want to be really careful with that. Ah, Civil Savage said go all in. Yeah, I, I didn't do it. We'll see. Uh, we're going to have to see. I'm being a bit of a bitch, but if they have a fateful absence on my Atsushi, you know, then I automatically take three here. We'll see. Maybe I'm a big fat bitch. Okay, we're going to kill this thing so that way we can uh, use Armored Scrap Gorger to disrupt their uh, Adeline. That's going to be worth losing a blocker to have them not have Adeline on the field. Big time. Big time. <clears throat> no attacks, it looks. I think Coglin Yudaro fights uh, Sarah Paragon. That's fine. We have another. We good. We good. Oh, no. Oh, uh, dum, 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 dum. Uh, do I go? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I can't do tribute into this, can I? That is actually exactly nine. Um, I could do tribute into Kogla, right? Destroy this. I think that's pretty good, to be honest.
We're gonna fight. Their card advantage. Okay, a little bit of a little bit of a sound thing there. Whew. There you go, we won the standoff, man. Yo, you know what it was though? It was the fact that when we casted a tally, we were able to uh freaking fateful absence. Oh, killing Adeline was huge there, boys. Instead of having to trade for it in combat with freaking uh with a tally. I mean hell. Maybe, was that the top card of their library? Were they about to top deck that? I forget how many cards the animate or how many animations were played off the top of their library there. Wow. Yeah, I'm loving the Coglin Udaros, man. Uh, I mean, we have four lands in this thing. The thing is, it doesn't really pay off into anything here. It uh, anything we drop will probably be a payoff for it, but I I just I don't know about that one, man. Oh Jesus, you really gave me the. Those are actually my lands here, dude. Well, boys, we mulligan down to five. We get a nice five. Give it that. I'd probably get rid of two lands here. Probably get rid of uh those two. We could get rid of Azusa's many journeys though. Because if Scrap Gorger dies and we don't get the land, we're just completely screwed, you know? Botanical freaking brawler. Wow. Alright, I mean... That's good. That's definitely good. All right, they're uh, they're growing their botanical brawlers here. They're looking pretty nice. Now they're dealing damage. They're bushwhacking. Yeah, okay. Well, topiary it is. Okay, we're going to have to draw a big threat soon, though, because what we have is land number five, and then this makes land six and seven go onto the field. Then we can attack in with this at to with Topiary Stomper. We're going to hope they don't throw a creature in our way. I would imagine they're a creature deck. All right, if they have the Wandering Emperor here, they'll still be able to make the token to uh, block this. Even though it has Vigilance, they won't be able to exile it, so that's good. We'll go and grab uh, one of each here, red and green. All right, let's see if the attack actually connects here. Wandering Emperor wouldn't be bad with a plus one, plus one counter strategy. All right, we actually get that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass the turn there. Now I'm playing Cankerbloom. If we draw one of our four Tribute to the World Trees, I'm going to be very happy that I uh, kept Cankerbloom around. Wow, invasion of this thing. Wow. Then that creature fights up to... Wow. All right, hey, we get rid of a Botanical Brawler. That's huge. Do they attack? I will block. Yup, we want to get rid of those things before they grow out of control. That's a huge opportunity, boys. That's opportunity. Eh, fuck it. Let's uh, let's do that one. Cause once again, tribute to the world tree plus canker bloom, good. Okay, we're trading one for one. I never like that. Okay, we'll keep that attack. Okay, we tied it up, boys. It's not too great. There it is. There 
it freaking is. They don't have any plus one plus one counters to remove to actually kill that. They might get it next turn with a botanical brawler drop. They could do it. All right, that sucks. They lose Besaju though. They have one card in hand. It's good play. Good play. Go ahead and grab that. All right, and we attack with just that. So now we have eight power on the field. They can't really attack with this. Another one. All right. Then that can fight something. I would imagine it's going to fight a 1-1 one, one and not die to the... Uh, yeah. All right. That's good. He has a bushwhack. Wow, okay. He's empty-handed, boys. I don't think he should attack here. I'll just let him deal two damage and not even flip a battle. Yeah, go for it, dude. Right, I'm going to deal gonna deal damage here, and now he'll have to block these, right? Our next turn, he has to block one of them, right? So let's drop another Canker Bloom, just in case he gets a creature block. We're still wider. Or a creature drop, sorry. <laughs> There it is. Good game. There it is, boys. Wow. Big Fat MTG is ranking up playing green, boys. Oh my god. You'd love to see it, man. And don't worry. Don't get used to it. We're going to get our butts handed to us, okay? But for the meantime, let's just enjoy that we're having time. We're having fun slamming a tally. We love tribute to the world tree. We're we're trying to play in such a way today that um that we don't just die to removal, but maybe when some of our things die, they leave an everlasting impact on the battlefield. That's why we have things like Halana and Elena, who if they get to uh, activate those that counter ability, you know, uh, we leave counters on the field on our creatures. Uh, Azusa's Made Journeys, if they kill the creature, we got the additional land and the life. Topiary Stomper ramps the land. Love to see it. Chris says those invasions, yeah, that, that didn't really, uh, that didn't do too much. That's a, that's very expensive. I'm kind, I'm kind of with you, man, yeah. You got some nice fights, but... I don't know. I mean, I get it, because it is nice with the Botanical Brawler, you know? Uh, let's drop out Sushi here. Come on, dude. This fucking mouse is killing me, dude. Alright. As long as they don't exile it. Okay, I have to discard. That'll be a Halan and Elena? Or will that be a Topiary Stomper? Because, honestly, the first Halan and Elena probably dies, right? I think I want to back up Halan and Elena so we can just smush him with Atsushi here. We'll give that haste so we don't uh, leave any damage on the field there. All right, we're now threatening 11. Oh, we're threatening 13, I guess, right after Halana puts blah, 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 blah. Yep. Wow. What's going on, man? Where's all the red players who kick my ass all the time? Hell's going on here, boys? Wow, 10 wins are... What the hell time is it, dude? 7.14? You've been playing for just over an hour? Jesus Christ. Because creatures suck, but we're playing into that, boys. We're playing freaking into it. Uh, fine. Okay, I'd like to go Journeys, Tribute. Right, I mean, the Scrap Gorger just drops dead immediately, so...
Trespasser. All right. We didn't draw a land there, but the Tribute to the World Tree plus this thing flipping over start to our next turn. Help us land that uh land drop. All right, come on. Come on. Give me a, a land that taps for red now. All right, we, we didn't get it, boys. That's okay. Do we drop Topiary Stomper? I think so. And then maybe next turn we can drop Invasion and have the Stomper attack into it. So we leave a mana on the field, but we go ahead and grab a, a red Topiary. Atsushi's pretty happy with that. Okay, we have to sacrifice a creature with the highest power. Among creatures we control, a Halan and Elena top deck would be insane here. Also, they're at two cards. We're okay with that. No blocks. Uh, Sokenzan is very nice with Tribute to the World Tree. It's very nice with two Tribute to the World Trees because it becomes make three, two three threes and draw two. Um, I think that's Invasion of a Zendikar and then attack in at it. Uh, let's get another red. Okay, attack. If they block, we get to untap lands. If they don't block, we get this and a card. Beautiful. Uh, one, two, three. Go ahead and drop out sushi. All right. Go ahead and make the treasures. It'll help in flipping a tally. We don't need it to cast them. They have one card in hand. Okay. I don't think we're going to soak in on that and lose our treasures here. Because, right, doesn't it cost four to activate? Yeah, we'd lose all of our treasures. I I'm not feeling that. All right. Oh, okay. All right. There's somebody. Uh, the token it makes will get tribute to the World Tree counters, which isn't the worst thing in the universe. Um, what do I want to do here? Uh, do we want to... Yeah, let's make a token. Get some counters on that shit. Um, do we want to uh, do anything else here? I want to drop Sokens on. Yeah, let's drop Sokens on as a land. Let's hit uh, let's hit Canker Bloom or Scrap Gorger. There it is. Beautiful. Pass. All right. We don't have to sacrifice a tally to shield Red's Edict. Well, we have to sacrifice it to that. We will double block that. Shieldred might want to attack at Soren the Mirthless. I wonder if they double attack at it. Wow, they didn't even use Shieldred. Okay, we definitely block that, yeah. I'll take it. We we traded two loyalty on this and Canker Bloom, a two drop, which we uh, replaced with a card in our hand. Yeah, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Uh, do we want to go Atali or Coglin Yudaro to get the definite kill on that? Because uh, no, they're not there with cards in the graveyard yet. I think we'll uh, plus this. See if we want to reveal that card and put it into our hand. Yes, reveal. Put it into hand, lose zero life, because it's a forest. Love to see it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could do another tribute into a tally. Just really start going big cards here. We're going to draw so many cards, but oh, we're going to be sick of cards. So we're casting Topiary first. That way, Shieldred's on the field for all of these card draws. All right, we're, we're rocking. 
We're gonna have so many cards. We're gonna be sick of them. Sick of fucking cards. Oh my god. What what a gamer. Alright. Uh I think we're good there. Let's uh go ahead and end the turn. Discard one, two, three. No Halan and Elena. Gosh, how I want to drop Halan and Elena and flip a tally in the same turn. Could we do that? That would cost, what, 9 plus 4, 13? Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Shit, we don't even have to pay the 2 life. Shit. Oh, they're top decking. I mean, they could pump mana into the Evolved Sleeper. But since they spent the 1 on that, they actually won't be able to draw a card this turn. Very sad. Very sad. This poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Two more cards? Come on, give me my Halan and Elena. How many cards are in our deck? We have to be careful a little bit. Come on, give me my Halana and Lena. Come on, dude. Come on, give me it, give me, give me, give me. Come on, give me my Halana and Elena. Oh, oh, boys. We the ones. We the ones. That's it. That's it, man. That's, that's big Adali, boys. Here we go. Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. Combat! Oh! Wow! Boys. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. We were just going to mash the space bar there because this was going to be, what, 15 power? So he wouldn't even just be able to block with Shieldred. He'd have to block with, um, or even both of these things. So he'd probably have to block with Shieldred and then this one, right? And then we still have all of this coming in, you know? I mean, that's fine. He gets to keep this, go down to nine poison, I guess, and then draw one card. Jesus, boys. Poor guy. Oh, but his Soren, the Mirthless, got us. Our Halana and freaking Elena. God, that that's just so satisfying. As a big, stupid, green idiot here, I love doing shit like that, man. Oh, God, that, that feels great. Thank you for uh, thank you for the count there, Johnny. Thank you. Yeah, got to be careful once you get multiple tribute to the world trees out about uh, drawing too many cards. Especially when I'm trying to make that goofy play with uh, Awaken the Woods, like to Awaken the Woods and Tribute to the World Tree. Oh, boys! Boys, for anybody who's here, Big Fat MTG is going to have a new toy uh, with the uh, Wilds of Eldraine. You know how Big Fat MTG likes Awaken the Woods and uh, Tribute to the World Tree? Well, there's another Create X Tokens, and it costs X and a red. You create X-1-1 one, one rats that can't block, and then your all your creatures gain haste until end of turn, so... Think about what Big Fat MTG might do with that in Tribute to the World Tree and uh, Kami of Whispered Hopes. Just, you know, just something to think about. You know, a little something to think about there. That's what you're going to expect on uh, Big Fat Gosh Darn MTG come Wilds of Eldraine time. Because, uh, oh. If you don't think I'm running that shit, you're out of your mind. Call a doctor. Also, noted. Just take a look at that right there. Let me bring that up on screen just so that everybody can see. Ooh, what was that land pass? Was that land pass, boys? Uh, wait, can I get Azusa's down? Wait, hang on. Can I get Azusa's down and that? Yeah, I can. All right, yeah. Just sorry, just just making sure there. My bad. All right, let's drop this and this. We'll get another red. There you go. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. All right, duly noted. A little more. 
Uh, is that Kogla and Yudaro? So that way it dies, but Halan and Elena goes on to make lasting value on the board. Nah, I kind of like Kogla and Yudaro after that. Drop Halan and Elena. We get around Make Disappear specifically here. Let's see if we actually make it to combat. Okay. Not sure, boys and girls, if I really want to sit here and face a uh, blue-white player. So I'm, I'm, I'm really about ready to just see them land pass and just leave the game. Yeah, we'll go ahead and leave the game right there. Bye-bye. Yep. Yep. You, you can go. Uh, you can have somebody else babysit you. <laughs> I'm not going to occupy your time in. Oh, three trophies, Richard Gamey. That was just me? Only you? Wow, no judges are willing to replace the other judges who heard such blasphemy as Bimbo Dial. And that's how I pronounce it. We call it that which goes unnamed. Wow. Are you talking about Tom Bimbo Dial? By, by any chance there? Also, thank you for the trophies feel pretty good about it we flipped a tally there i think that's i think that's worth some trophies wow okay uh i mean this is going to get us to halan and elena and not much further than that so i don't know about that hand there fine what do i get rid of here the red a, a tally or the red i think the red unfortunately going second clunking into tribute to the world tree or that's not really a recipe for success maybe a little closer to a recipe for disaster shiva yeah it was good bimbo lady wow tim bimbo lady oh i love it oh god richard's richard's gonna be salty about that one wow tim bimbo lady love it love it All right, they drop freaking wedding announcement. Uh, we might want to kill that. They do get another land, but I think cutting that off before they get any creatures, let alone the anthem, might be a decent uh, move there. I think we're just going to drop tribute and pray. It's 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 kind of lame. Okay, so they might drop another Generous Visitor. Oh, wow. Commune with Spirits. Okay, yeah, but if I waited for the end step, um, then that would have triggered, so. Gray finished a 750. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. A little, little bit extra today. Love to see it. All right, they go for another wedding announcement. They're not doing serious damage now. There's no Calyx on the field. They're, they're drawing for it. All right, Armored Scrap Gorger. Um... Honestly, a, a land top deck would be really nice, especially a red one. Well, that that is net. Yeah, we, we might be dead just to the fact that even though they didn't have the greatest game here, we just clunked so effing poopily hard. Filth and lies. Bimbo. Bomboo. Whatever means the world to our judges wow with the, with the faced raised eyebrow you, you didn't like you didn't like tim bimbo dial i think that's kind of funny all right they attack with two keep one guy back on defense oh wow all right that gives us some life here that's incredible boys we get the fight on the Generous Visitor. I, 
I think that was more important than killing the hollowed haunting and then not really having anything on the field, but maybe like an armored scrap gorger that would be, you know, a 2 5 thanks to tribute, but you know, it, it still would die to this thing. And they can hit their hollowed haunting here with the one mana discount. All right, if we draw a canker bloom, that's going to be pretty shitty for them. Or, uh, well, we're not going to be able to play a canker bloom, I guess, because yeah, we'll be able to get it onto the field, but we won't be able to uh, activate its ability for one since we're tapping out for a tally. So we're we're pretty much screwed here. We'll see what we get, though. But yeah, Hollowed Haunting's just going to go off, and all their creatures are going to have flying and blah, whatever. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, and commune. Yep. Uh, let's commune for this. Is that okay, or do we want the land? We honestly... We might want the land. Azusa's going to be so far from being useful. What do we do with this one? We destroy the one Hollowed Haunting, but they're still going to get another one. Um, so do we gain the life here? Might be better than getting the uh, the Rhino token, honestly. Although the Rhino token gets us more... Uh, yeah. Let's get the Rhino. Uh, destroy this. They're still going to drop another Hollowed Haunting, which sucks. But hopefully they won't get the uh, Vigilance and Flying and bullshit. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's attack. Yep, I feel good about it, right? Yeah, I feel good about it. Alright, we do that because they lose one of those things and now their uh, power and toughness goes down. That was pretty incredible that we got Titan of Industry because I only have one Titan of freaking Industry, man. You honestly think any MTG judge does not know Lord of the Rings by heart? I could, I could never speak to that, Richard. Couldn't speak to that, man. All right, they get the Hollowed Haunting. That's good, that's good. But they're not popping off this turn. We have the Canker Bloom now to deal with that. I don't know if we can afford to drop another Tribute to the World Tree next turn because we, we need freaking blockers on the field. They could attack here, but they're going to get us down to one. All right, so they opt not to do that. Um, okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, beautiful. We can have we can drop Canker Bloom and not destroy this. We can do Coggling Yudaro and fight something. Um, we need to get the Canker Bloom down to destroy that. That, that has to happen. All right, uh, do we like uh, Topiary and Armored Scrap Gorger? That gives us a lot of blockers. Uh, let's go ahead and get another red, I guess. All right, not bad. Armored Scrap Gorger. We can't let them cast anything with Hollowed Haunting, so we need to do this right now. We can't let them have more of these. All right, no attacks. Right now they have six things that can attack. What's that card in their hand? Another Jukai. All right. Let's see what happens here. They put that counter on this thing. Are they not planning on attacking? Okay, boys. We have a shot. I think we're, uh, maybe we do Tribute to the World Tree into Kogla here, right? Because Kogla all by itself um, only draws us one card. We don't really have any more creatures to populate the field with. So I like Tribute, then Kogla. A fight target creature we don't control. Who is that going to be? The biggest thing they have? Yes.
Wow, those were not even good cards there. Uh, I can't lose the blocker in Armored Scrap Gorger here, so we can go ahead and probably attack with the Topiary Stomper, and that is it. We 100% take that one for one trade. Wow, they didn't even want to two for one it. All right, okay. All right, yeah. Okay, we take two creatures off of their field. We now have more blockers than they have, or as many blockers as they have attackers. Drop a land, dude. Stop fucking me up so bad. Drop a land. Come on. Fuck you. You know what? Fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's just get rid of anything out of their graveyard. Does it matter? Um, yeah, this can bring back something with a permanent with a mana value two or less. So let's get rid of that. Creatures destroyed. All right. Fair enough. All right. Ooh, okay. Let's start with this. Let's thin the library out before we drop out sushi and get a better card, statistically speaking. Love to see it. Wow. Just optimal, optimal gaming there. One, two, three, five, six. Okay, so at sushi. I think we're going to win. I mean, unless they pull off some sort of bomb here. Like, we're doing really nicely here. Get another land. That'll be uh, this guy. That'll be this guy also. Last turn. Next turn, Atsushi can swing in at this for two more cards. Love to see it. Oh my god, we get two cards out of that. Boys, we're killing it here. I love Sokin's on into two tributes. Oh no. That's so bad for them. They might just call it quits here. Wow. Boys. Power of Tribute, huh? Wow, man. God, I love freaking Tribute to the World Tree Gaming. Up, oh, Gray leveled up. Got a Mastery Orb. Beautiful. A Textual Predator. A Rextual Predator. Gray has the Legolas Avatar. Beautiful, if you like that. A tally up. Oh, okay, I said that one. Yep, man, you went. Thank you, Gray. Yeah, dude, double tribute to the World Tree Gaming, man. And it, it just always feels so good when you can do Sokens on after one or especially two tribute to the World Trees like we just did. Because, you know, that's a that's a lands channeling ability, you know? But we wound up losing that land in hand. We got six power on the field in two three threes and two cards to replace it. I'm sorry, but I, I just love the value that you get out of a damn land. Oh, thank you, Richard. Trophy, smiles, trophy. I appreciate that, especially since I know that you're the only judge today. Uh, I will take this. We do need the uh, other source of green for tribute, but, you know. Let's hope that we top deck a land by the time we're dropping tribute or uh, this so that we can uh, just get right into them. Uh, looks like we're up against red going second. For oh, joy. Uh, let's drop this one. We have our only copy in the deck of uh, Carpless and Forest right here. All right. That's going to be Azusa's and then tribute. Uh, drop this one. Pass. All right. Wow. Okay. That's a big boy. All right. I like Atsushi here. Although this thing makes Atsushi get exiled. So now I don't like Atsushi. Sorry. Unfortunately, we might just be dead to going second against a faster red deck. Doesn't look like red deck wins here, of course. But, you know, I mean, playing pretty nicely here. All right. Not looking super great here. We do start this turn off with uh, two draws, though. Okay. 
Okay, since we got a land, we'll go Azusa's into Atsushi, which is pretty good because it starts this towards uh, getting the three life next turn, which will probably be relevant against our opponent here. Wow. Wow. We don't want Atsushi to die. Alright, I think I think it wasn't dealt damage, though, so it actually is going to die here. Yes, okay, okay. That's okay. I meant I don't want it to be exiled. My bad. Alright. We have a small chance here, but a chance, nevertheless. They were looking at this thing's uh, fling ability. Okay, they draw some cards. That's very good. We need to get something incredible here. Three life is real nice. Uh, no. My god, this freaking mouse today. I swear to god. I have never been... Really? Not. I don't like a lot of fishy stuff, but I like like the simpler fish. Or sushi, you know? Like, just like... Uh, cucumber or like the uh, California roll or something. This is pretty good here. We can uh, strangle that and then Kanker Bloom will destroy this after drawing us a card. Wow. Yo, boys, he just left to that. Boys, we won that game. That's wild. Remember when that started out with us just doing like Azusa's into tribute? God, we clunked so hard. Thank God. God, he didn't go super fast. Wow. Wow. Yeah, but I, I like those simple sushis that, that don't have fish. Or else if they have, like, beginner fishes. Nothing too fishy. I don't really like that, that, that fishy taste, you know. I like some fish, though. Did I get vault progress? We got vault progress, boys! 97.1%. Oh my god, I'm about to get one mythic and two rares and three uncommons, you guys. Yes. Uh, I mean, we do have Azusa's into a uh, tribute. I do like that open. Please don't play red deck wins. Pretty please. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All, all right. You know what? At least it gave me a decently functional hand against freaking red deck wins. Okay, they're swinging with three here on turn two. That's pretty darn good. This is this is bad, boys. This is really bad. My town has two two lane roads as its epicenter, at least on the best of. Oh, God, Richard. Oh, no. Man, that's not good. All right, that sucks. We have to drop Canker Bloom so that we actually have anything at all on the field that can uh, do stuff. If it eats fucking removal, we sacrifice it to proliferate, creating a creature. Yep, fine. Proliferate. That should save us the attack from the Swift Spear. Oh, wait, never mind. It's a 3 4. Alright, whatever. We'll block it then. That's good. Gee, fuck you, dude. Come on, man.
damn it. He fuck you. Are you kidding? That's what he got. <laughs> Yo, he got the mountain to play that. And okay. All right, boy. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's uh. That's pretty good. That looks like lethal damage, so I have to block the Swift Spear. Cool. Okay, let's uh, block this, and then with the attack canceled out, we'll destroy the enchantment. Alright, fucking wonderful. Yep, we'll go ahead and uh, drop that and uh, do absolutely fucking nothing. Great game. There you go, he got three damage right there. We do have the mountain open. I probably should have uh, tapped out, but now he can probably swing in. Yeah, there you go. That's, uh, time of my life, boys. Now, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not enough to go second against Red, boys. They have to tie our hands. They have to pull all of the stops out to stop us, boys. We're, 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 we're going to slam a tally. Look at look at these freaking dinosaurs we had, but god damn, that ain't going to do it against uh, Mono Red going second. Ah, oh, boys. Damn it, boys. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, it's okay. We, we tried our best, boys. That's okay. They, they have to do everything in their power. We're going to take that as a compliment. We're feared. Durango has the same issue. They have two sushi places now, I think. Some mm, some delicious old sushi. Hell yeah. Nice and truck-warmed sushi. We're going to keep this. Our play is pretty clearly armored scrap gorger into Halana and then prey. So, if you'd all just join me in prayer. I'm, I'm going to need them. Can you not be a red deck too? Okay, cool. I just I've had a lot of them. All right, the land the land pickup's pretty good there. They drop a scrap gorger too. We drop Halan and Elena. Get some counters going. That's not terrible. Hopefully, it doesn't get a. Uh, removed. They have fateful absence now. With the basic land on the field, they can hit ossification. Letting Holan and Elena stay another turn is going to result in a 4-7 armored scrap gorger. That's Elish Norn numbers. That also kills this thing in combat, so that's good. Okay, uh, what's this ability? Return target permanent card. Okay, we're not going to attack with the scrap gorger. We're going to interfere with that. We're going to do some shenanigans, boys. I will drop the sage you here. Uh, we want to get to a tally here. Boom. No attack to disrupt the uh, restoration of a Ganjo chapter 2. Since it says you can return target permanent card to your hand, that means that uh, they have to uh, target that thing in their graveyard. That ability goes on the stack, which allows me to interfere with it. Oh, God, we're so good. We're so good. Nom, 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 Was it worth losing the, uh, the four life there? Maybe. I mean, we took away uh, one extra mana capacity next turn. Looks like that probably kills Halan and Elena, if I had to guess. Okay. We have the uh, Scrap Gorger. With any luck? Wow. I honestly think I want to drop Titan here. The reason is I we might want to get rid of that, especially if they're going to be dropping like a fucking portal to Phyrexia or some shit. We'll get the uh, destroy and the token. Yeah, you never know. They could have the portal. I mean, they have this. The hell is this paying off into? Yeah, look at that. Scrap Gorger, Topiary Stomper, this, come on. They're they're ramping into huge artifacts. Is it Cityscape Leveler? 
We're going to see when we, maybe we'll see when we drop a tally. God, I hope we see when we drop a tally and not when they drop their big creature. All right, boys. See what? Let's see what they're uh, doing all this ramping for. Come on, please, please give me your kill card. Ah, oh, fine. We'll, we'll take it. Whatever. It's gonna put land number seven on the field, so it can attack and block. We'll go get a red here. All right, we attack with both. Absolutely. I worked on loading trucks at Walmart. The amount of cans that get canned at low low altitude. Ooh, when it's ooh, wow. Oh wow. Yeah, that must have been a loads of fun there. Alright, they uh they second guessed their blocks there. Attacking with the Titan alone would probably be a mistake because they could double block it with Topiary and that. All right, they hit a big depopulate. We don't have anything really to build back from that, so... We will drop Scrap Gorger just so we can start its oil counters cooking as fast as possible, I guess. But we're pretty much, uh... Well, we are just top decking, and you never want to be in that position. Okay, it's not good on its own, but it ramps them and thins out their library, so that's huge good. Huge, huge, huge good. Better drops, better draws. Very good. You know what? That's actually good, because next turn, this will flip over and draw us a card. Last turn. That's actually huge that we got one. Thank God, boys. Just in time for Azusa's to uh, tick to three. Thank God. Tyrannix Rex. Alright, that's what they're ramping into. Yep, might as well just right to the face, yep. Okay, we're gonna need something ridiculous. Because if they drop another Tyrannix Rex next turn, we're dead. That'll be 12 poison. Uh, does it matter? Maybe it did. They have Restoration of a Ganjo. Maybe I should have taken a 2, uh, two cost thing. All right, that's not the draw we need. Well, you know, if we can draw uh, something else that's good, like maybe an Atsushi or something here so that we could go tribute into Atsushi, draw... B oh, fuck you. That's shit. All right, that's probably about it. Kogla and is going to have a tough time dealing with this. I don't even know if we can afford to uh, cast Coglin Yudaro and pay the ward cost so that the fight doesn't even work. Alright, we got to uh, we gotta get something real good here. You know, Holan and Elena would be a good draw too, because Armored Scrap Gorger is about to get some power to it. So just anything, dude. Even a Canker Bloom, just so I can keep drawing. Come on, please don't give me the fucking land. I hate you. I mean, we have a chance here because we can attack in at this, triggering two card draws. But we'll, we'll have to put down something that can deal with this in combination with Armored Scrap Gorger, I guess. Uh, one, two. Okay, we'll attack. Please go through. Alright, we, we need something amazing here, boys. Amazing. We still only have seven toughness on the field. That is not enough to prevent the uh, next four poison counters we'll get. There she is. Wow. So we get that post combat, so we won't get the counters, unfortunately. But we do have enough toughness on the field now to block Tyrannix Rex. Can they fuck us over here? Mm, 
Okay, I'm blocking. Uh, everything, just in case they pull some shit. We can't let even one damage get through here. Yep, that's why we did it, boys. Although it doesn't matter, right? Because uh, they could have just, uh, with this double block here, they would have dealt exactly lethal to both of them. Uh, yep, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Get anything out of there. Alright. We have a shot here, boys. We're dropping a tally. We're going to have big cards. Alright. Alright. This, this is a game, boys. We blocked the Tyrannix Rex. What's that last card? It's just past turn. A tally. If we get a Helena and Elena, that'll be okay. Maybe it's another Wandering Emperor. Wow. Wow. There it is. Wow. Woo! Boys! Let's get that like button, boys. Wow! Dude, we're freaking doing it. Holy shit, we won that one after their huge freaking depopulate board wipe. God, that was brutal. We stopped the Rex, and we got their Rex. Look at... Oh, God, you love to see... Look at all those Tribute to the World Tree draws that were on the stack. God, I'm loving it. Yo, he was not happy with that, man. Not happy. After all that, he didn't even let us swing in, and he's playing a Stomperino, too. Wow. Oof. Uh, fine, let's take it. The Armored Scrap Gorger is going to do some nice work getting us the uh, third green for Tribute. Alright. Oh, wow, okay, Billy is Skull Dweller, okay. That lady, who is clearly not Lana Barry, is right. Cheater! Wow. That's it. Copium, Richard. Huff it, man. Huff your copium. Wow. Just kidding. Yeah, I totally hacked that shit. <laughs> Turned my luck all the way up. I, I threw the guy a bone, though. I gave him his depopulate, you know, so that way no one would suspect anything. But, yeah. Played him, boys. All right. Oh, beautiful. All right. Nice, nice. So even if Scrap Gorger lives, we could still drop a tribute next turn. This game looks to be lagging a bit. Sounds are still here. Okay, I feel good. I have a feeling we're just going to get uh, poisoned before we do anything really good. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to take that. Yeah, now they draw more uh, proliferate spells. Good lord. Um, is it tribute to the world tree? I think it should be. I'll go ahead and block with Scrap Gorger next turn, just to stave off an extra poison from that thing. Alright, pass turn. So we resolve the tribute to the world tree. That's good stuff. We will block. 
will exile anything from their graveyard. It doesn't matter, but it makes me feel better. They play magic while you play chess. Respect. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. All right. Canker Bloom, Canker Bloom. Just, well, well, wait. Canker Bloom, ask permission. Wait for permission. Okay. Can you just let it resolve? Then you're going to have to take five seconds to let me draw the card too, aren't you? I knew it. it this just happened, buddy. You're, you're really... Wow. Wow, dude. Wow, buddy. Boys, I'm sorry about this one. I wish I had conceded earlier, but now I'm a little emotionally invested. I'm really regretting stickering, sticking around and babysitting this person. Just drooling all over themselves. No idea what to do. Giving themselves way too many decisions. Like, honestly, buddy, pack it in and play green. Okay, he's getting us nice proliferate, and he might win, but he, he shouldn't be giving himself decisions that he can't handle. I honestly feel bad for the guy. Bitten off more than he can chew. Alright, nice, nice, very good. Yeah, we're, we're probably dead here. Alright, I think that's probably Atsushi. All right, you know what, boys? I'm not going to lie. Like, he's probably got this one, but it's really tough for me to stay in this game. If he counters that, yeah, we're uh, we're done. Goodbye. Yep, that's fine. We can get the hell out. I think we're going to have to uh, wait a long time to have him close that one out. Damn, boy. <laughs> Some people should just play green. <laughs> I, I think he would really appreciate the, uh, the, the simpler choices. Although, I don't know, man. We have choices to make in combat instead of with those cards in our hand, you know? I don't know, man. I think that's just someone that you gotta realize, oh, I should concede. Like, now. <laughs> Richard, ew. Sushi, hey, man. He gives us three treasure tokens when he dies. Or we can exile the top two cards of our library and we can play them until the next our, our next end step. I, I, I like the guy. Wow. Wow. Uh, Armored Scrap Gorger is going to do serious lifting here to get us on sushi, but I don't know. I It's very risky, but I kind of like it. Sorry, but we're going to live dangerously, boys. Like to live dangerously. All right. We really need the land next turn. Like, we really need the land. Oh my god, okay, you know what, I'm not even fucking around with Atsushi. Do I? Do I fuck around with Atsushi? You know what, yeah, I do. Because if they kill it, we make the treasures, right? And if they don't kill it, then we can drop this and then immediately swing in and flip it. If they kill Atsushi, treasures a tally. Hey, I like this guy. Alright, um, but we're, we're not letting that happen, right? Right? Yeah, we're, we're unfortunately... Uh, yeah, this is a tribute to the World Tree Appreciation Channel, and uh, we know exactly what that does. Wait, would I have been able to play this and then... No, I would have been one mana short. I would have been able to tap out for Canker Bloom. All right, sorry, buddy. It's not happening. God, I love Canker Bloom. Wow. Wow. Boys. We've got another believer in tribute to the world tree. We do love to see it. Huge white man versus big fat MTG. Wow, and we took his tribute. Wow, he's not. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. He didn't exile at sushi, boys. He killed it. 
Oh, brother. He can never have it back. Oh, beautiful. We need to pay with one less treasure. Love to see it. Wow. Wow, the Atsushi just pays off. Wow. What do we get? Arena, we get his draw spell. God, I'm in love. Stop. Stop. We get card draw. Oh my god, he's running Phyrexian Arena and Tribute to the World Tree. This guy's a baller. God, I love this guy. God, we got it, boys. We got his arena, and we also killed and then exiled his tribute. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Wah, wah, we wah that one, boys. Wow. <laughs> Poor guy. You know, for right then and there, that wasn't even a really good Itali. It didn't put, like, crazy creatures on the field or anything, but we get plus one draw per turn. That's actually incredible. That's just so good. Oh, Shiba Indu. He got sad. Yeah, big sad. So sad. Wow. Wow. I can't, I can't blame the guy. He killed that sushi, man. Kill that sushi. I, I think I have to pass up this hand, unfortunately. If I had a source of red, I would risk it going Azusa's turn two into Halan and Elena T3. Okay. Fine, I'll keep it and I'll pray. I have two out of the three greens for tribute. Although both of our lands are going to enter tapped for the time being, so that does suck. We would very much like an untapped land right here. Wow. Wow. Wow, that doesn't just die to the almighty two-mana kill-all? You know what? If Armored Scrap Gorger dies right now, hopefully they... Okay, so Liliana comes in minus twos. We drop Tribute. Oh, beautiful. We get this one down untapped. All right. We start by discarding probably Coggling Yudaro. All right. Cankerbloom coming in and destroying this isn't bad because this draws them cards. We can't really have that, you know? Let's see what we get here. Uh, Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, pass the turn there. Let's see if we can uh, bait them super hard into minus twoing Liliana here. Come on. Minus two your fucking Liliana, buddy. Come on. Make my day, dude. Jin, wow. Wow, good for this guy. Not gonna lie, I don't see a lot of that Jinja Taxius. All right, we have to discard a card, okay. I got a forest to discard for you. What's that? Yep, we'll go ahead and uh, block that. Yep, sounds good to me. All right, uh, let's hold this forest in hand just really fast. Let's see what we get here on this draw, because we might want to keep a tally in hand. Uh, we have enough red here, so we're, we're good just hitting greens. Uh, you know what? We probably drop the forest and then just discard Atsushi, honestly, or then just discard a tally, right? And then, yeah. All right, yeah, feeling good here. Pass turn. We'll discard a tally. Just, I wish that I could know that I would top deck the land and drop a tally. Yes, absolutely, but like, you know. Alright. Wow, alright. 
Oh, we lose Topiary Stomper. It can't attack our block right now anyway. That's fine. We have no guarantee of dropping land seven next turn, so we do. So obviously we go with Tally. Hopefully we drop some of their creatures on the field. We have a tribute to the world tree. Turn up to one target creature or planeswalker to its owner's hand. Fine. Yep, we can get rid of their Junji. Occupy their next turn that way. Uh, there. Wow. Wow. Alright, we discard Atsushi to uh, Liliana. Got a chance here. Oh, that's annoying. We're going to lose both of those cards. That's very annoying. Well, hopefully our top deck is good. Return an artifact from your graveyard to your hand if you can't draw a card. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, we have enough to do both of these things. So let's start with Topiary Stomper just to see what we draw. Four or five Helena and Elena is going to juice the hell out of a tally here. Hang on. Let's check their graveyard. Let's see if there's anything ridiculous for them to bring back. They can't even bring back Atsushi with a Junji. Alright, so juice the hell out of a tally. Swing for the freaking fences. Blocking with Junji will be rather ineffective. There's nothing good for it to reanimate. I guess except for this thing. Liliana can go ahead and make us sacrifice Armored Scrat Gorger to her heart's content. Might even want a plus her. Jace, okay. They have two man and a card in hand. Is it a kill? Nope. No, it isn't. Oh, brother. I don't know, boys. I think a tally's getting flipped over. You think they know that? You think they're going to let us do it? No. <laughs> Kidding. Never in a million years. You can't flip Jix unless you have seven or more cards in hand, buddy. You're playing it with Liliana. Oh, no. It's okay. You know what? I appreciate that he built his own deck. Not even going to lie. I have to very much respect that. Good for this guy. But, yeah, he, he's got to work on that... Uh, that uh, what do you call it? Synergy there. You see how he's discarding cards here. This also draws him cards when he casts non-creature spells. Uh, he's got Junji there. So is that going to do it? No, we have cards. All right, we're good. Yep. That's it. GG. He'll do his thing, and then I would assume he'll concede as fast as he possibly can. Uh, let's get rid of the Topiary Stomper, because I, I didn't count the lands. I don't know if I'm going to need Scrap Gorger in order to flip a tally here. All right, there you go. He's letting us do it. Hey, thank you. Oh, okay, okay. Spoke to you, of course. Fucking of course. Of course. Let, let's take a look at what we had uh, ready to go here. Let's see. That was going to be, oh, it was going to be 1919. All right. So uh, he would have been able to uh, double block it here and only take nine poison. All right. All right. Boys. Boys. He didn't like it. He didn't like it, boys. Wow, man. Oh, boys, the tribute to the world tree freaking did it, man. Wow. Wow, boys. Man, I feel good about that one, dude. Hey, guy named Stokes here. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, yeah, I... What do I do? Do I take this and pray that I get the land for Topiary Stomper? Honestly, yes, because I, I going down to five is just so bad, just of itself. So I'm going to take a big risk here and pray. All right. Duly noted, I'm not going to sit around for this.
So if I don't get the land here, I'm not wasting time if he land passes. All right, we do get the land. So once again, if we get countered, I'm not wasting the time. Promise you, just not wasting it. Because the only way to beat it is to establish and protect the card advantage. So if that even gets destroy evil, I'm leaving. They didn't do it there at instant speed, though. All right, so we will start the turn with a uh, card if everything goes our way here. Or an extra card, sorry. Alana and Elena gets easy countered. We go Topiary Stomper, which isn't as feels good of a counter for them, I think. Alana and Elena is a pretty easy counter. Topiary, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and get a... Uh, let's get a red, just in case we happen to get a... We have three reds in hand. Alright, that's, uh... No attacks. March exiles that. Okay, hey, we got the card out of it to replace it, so... Far as we're concerned, we're good there. Topiary Stomper feels great next turn. God, how I wish we could uh, get the Itali play next turn. Plans are already in motion. I, will clear your mind. I don't mind resolving Halan and Elena here, honestly. Since we didn't get the land here to go Topiary land, have seven lands attack, right? I, I think we'll... Uh... Oh wait, Halana won't actually kill that. Never mind, that's stupid. Alright, my bad. <laughs> and then we'll do, a... <laughs> we'll do this. See if we can get the land top deck here. We still can play Canker Bloom to try to get this land here. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Now we have three things on the field. I feel like that's a good board wipe. All right. Pissed off, boys. No, oh, we get the land. Um, let's start by attacking. Kind of cue them to hit a Wandering Emperor. I will swing there. Do you have two kills? Alright. I think dropping another tribute here is good. Nothing else. I think that's past turn. Okay, it was Wandering Ember. I would assume she makes a token, starts powering it up. Yep. We must protect the people. Another token. All right. To me. All planeswalkers matter, right? Big fat, do they though? Do they though, man? I feel like Vivian Reed matters more than other ones. Um, we might want to try to resolve Halan and Elena because I don't feel good about a tally resolving. I think this really makes them want to uh, counter it. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we can attack. Put that on Canker Bloom or on a Topiary? Uh, do we attack them with everything here? Yeah. Instead of just losing the Canker Bloom, should we proliferate with it? No, let's let's make them lose the token. Yeah, pass turn. It's not overextend. No, a lot of people call me Big Fat Richard. Oh, okay, he taps out. He taps out, boys. He taps out. That's a tally. Drawing big cards. We love big cards. They're the best. Let's go. 
Can't really play his Sunfall, but if he has a Wandering Emperor, we'll take that. Uh, that's going to do nothing. So we'll just play it anyway. We get an additional land this turn. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. We'll drop this. Drop this. Whatever. Do I drop the Armored Scrap Gorger here? Does it really matter? I don't know if I do. Let's do it. Fuck it. It's not going to draw us cards with Tribute. Unfortunately, but it will be a nice 4-7. I mean, that's something, right? Well, they, it blocks this. Even with the uh, plus one, plus one counter and first strike, we'll still trade favorably. He said, thick boy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, Armored Scrap Gorger. Even Armored Scrap Gorger, obviously a tally, but hey, seven toughness on the Scrap Gorger, too. That ain't nothing, man. Elish Norn stats. All right, now that's something. At this point, we can probably leave because I'm pretty much ready to go. But let's see what we get here. Yeah, that's it. We're uh, we're not going to. Uh... Unfortunately, after Farewell eats the um, tribute to the World Trees, there's not much that we're going to do there. If we had, uh, you know, top decked in a tally there, or maybe Coggling Yudaro, so we could have gone ahead and hasted Trampling Swinged in at the... Uh, Wandering Emperor, that would have been pretty good, right? Get some nice value before it just falls to whatever. But yeah, the uh, the blue white is uh, is strong with that one, so we can just leave. I tried to capitalize fat, but it wouldn't let me. Hey, hey, that better that better be a good excuse, Richard. That better not have uh, <clears throat> that better you better not be bullshitting me. I deserve proper capitalization, Richard. And proper punctuation too at the end of the sentence. Don't don't cheat me out with that shit. We speak, we speak, we speak good English here, man. Uh, is it Canker Bloom? No, it's this for the potential invasion of Zendikar. All right, uh, I don't feel good about the invasion right now. I like Topiary Stomper. And then next turn we drop the invasion. We'll have seven lands on the field with this one too. All right, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and pass. If we're going to go uh, stupid counters here, we'll, uh, we'll have a great time playing uh, that freaking uh, perversion of a game. All right. Hey, I'll take it, man. Okay. Oh, shit. I should have taken that. Oh, because that's a target. I should have taken that shit. Because then he, now he gets the card. All right, that sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Uh, let's get rid of an Urtai, I guess, just so you can't Takanuma it back or whatever. Um, is that Invasion, or is that Halan and Elena and actually get it resolved and putting counters on that? Kind of like Halan and Elena, honestly. Can't really attack through that thing, though. Pass turn. It would be a miracle if Halan and Elena lives here. Nope, I used commas as a form of protest. We don't need them. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. We don't need commas. Okay, okay. That, that's crazy talk, Mr. Dragon. All right, let's get rid of uh, eh, that one. All right. So Armored Scrap Gorger should be able to uh, swing in at this thing. We'll swing it as a 5-5. Five, five. We like that. Let's go get one of each here. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. All right, let's attack. Yeah, they do want to trade. All right, yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, that's an armored scrap gorger, man. 5-5-2 five, five, drop. We'll take it, yeah. Uh, and a blinged out there with all them counters. Look at that. Two plus one plus one counters. Three oil counters. Alright, at this point, I'm honestly done playing stupid counters. So I'll pretty much go unless. Okay, yeah, Atsushi's good, but he does have to resolve. Okay. Well, it looks like he won't be able to play a counter for that. 
one land untapped. So if Atsushi dies and isn't exiled, we can go ahead and use it to exile the top two cards ability. And hopefully we get a nice hit there that we can also resolve. What a pleasure. What a pleasure it is playing dumb one for one with you. What a pleasure. You know what? We'll take it. Let's start by attacking. Right at the face, yeah. I don't want to uh, overextend by flipping that. Okay, will they destroy Atsushi here? Okay, we exile. Wow, we got Titan of Industry. Uh, I think we give Titan the plus one plus one counter, and we give it selfish or we give it the shield counter and create the Rhino. I think. Hopefully it doesn't just get edicted, right? Alright. Oh, we can still get Halan and Elena down, which isn't bad, but I kind of want to do Topiary and, and uh, this, and then have them use Urtai on Topiary this or this, right? So let's, uh, let's start by attacking, honestly. Let's populate our board here. Unfortunately, we don't have Tribute. We really, really wish we had Tribute. Although, Urtai would do a pretty good job killing it, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Destroy another target creature or Planeswalker. Oh, it wouldn't. Okay, so we would have to counter it. Yeah, maybe destroying a non-land permanent might be a bit much. Solkanar, Wow. All right, I guess we go Halan and Elena here, right? And then they'll drop Urtai next turn on it, but I feel pretty good about the... Uh, I feel pretty good about the pressure. I wish we had gotten a tribute there. Obviously, I wish that it was perfect. You have something to do with... Oh, yeah, cut down, yeah. Halan and Elena very tragically dies to cut down. Very tragic there. Um, we're empty-handed. They have all the cards in hand. I'm pretty much ready to go against... Nope, 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 nope. Right? Because anything I play is going to get countered. So let's be real. Let's just uh, let's just cut it out right now. We, we have no cards in hand. They have the cards in hand. That's their win condition. Now they have two answers for every one top deck we have. And we're going to top deck a land whatever percent of the time, you know? So I feel like the best skill that you can learn against control is when to quit. Because in learning when to quit, you realize what they're doing. Or in learning what they're doing, you realize when to quit. Hopefully. Ah, uh, wow. Ah, oh, man. We need the land draw, like, real soon. So I, I don't know about this one. I love having tribute. I don't know about it. Yep, we'll take it. We drop a tally and pray to get it back at some point, I think. I mean, we could drop Halan and Elena and hope to ramp super hard like this. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do that. It's, it's super greedy, boys. It's super greedy. Mr. Big Fat, the words you type have more in common with ancient Sanskrit... Tell me... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, this, this, this. Okay, scrap gorger. Tell me you do not leave out vowels while texting. I used to, Richard, and then I grew up. Commas are the the vowels of punctual... Wow. 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 Speak for yourself, first of all. I think commas are very important, Richard, and as a matter of fact, I always utilize the Oxford comma that comes after a list when you're like, I need 
turkey, mashed potatoes, Oxford comma, and gravy. You know, for the uh, for the Thanksgiving feast or whatever. Right? That's that last comma before and that's unnecessary. I use it because that's how much of a fan of fucking punctuation I am. So d don't even at me. All right, don't. Uh, let's drop this one. They have Ginny Fay out, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass right now because that's about to get big. Um, we really wanted the uh, top deck there so that we could get uh, a tally down. Or the top deck land, sorry. Pass the turn. That Scrap Gorger has to live. Wow, they get fucking Mondrak out. They're about to make two treasures with Gala Greeters and then get uh, both of the other things with it. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. They can definitely attack with that one. I will take that for now, I think. All right. All right, boys. We never lose. Uh, we'll take their Gala Greeters. So we have to cast that second. So that way it goes on down to the field first. And then we can get a thing out of it. I guess I'll be counters. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and uh, attack with Topiary Stomper at this. I would assume they could chump with the 3-1. Uh, Alright, they, uh, they're looking pretty good. Not gonna lie, probably should have made the treasure with Gala Greeters. That way I could flip a tally. Oh, brother, Elish Norn. So that all those Ginny Fae tokens are a pain in the ass to deal with. That's pretty good. Oh, God. Deals damage equal to twice its power to target creature or plant. Jesus. My God, dude. Okay, I, I think we're done here. Uh, and, and good game to the guy. I'll actually I'll loot it up here. I, I'll, I'll like this guy a whole heck of a lot. W what an honor for him. Uh, we'll block one of those, and we'll be able to uh, pay the uh, one for uh, Elish Norn there. Yep, pay the one. We'll remove something from their graveyard. All right, we need something huge here, though. Yeah, we need Coglin Yudaro, dude. We did not get Coglin Yudaro. Or a tribute would have been all right, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, gain five, create this. Uh, yeah. All right, and that's no attacks. Now that Topiary can't attack through Elish Norn. So we're uh, we're looking kind of screwed here, boys. Looking royally screwed. Oh, wow. Now two sets of treasure tokens each turn for, Gala for the Gala Greeters turned into Ginny Fey tokens. Yeah, that's... Uh, yep, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Give the He's, he's going pretty uh, quickly here. Give him an opportunity to swing in with that shit, I guess. Yeah. So you should marry my mother. Okay, sounds good. Is that Mr. Big Fat? Wow. Wow. All right. Wow, they didn't even attack. Um, we're going to destroy wedding announcement. At least we can do something there. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the canker bloom. Because he would make two, three, one vigilancers there with the uh, wedding announcement. At least we stand a chance here. Okay, fuck you. Well, we're we're completely done. Um, I don't want to attack with the Titan of Industry because I think he just blocks with Mondrak and one three one, and then makes Mondrak indestructible. And then I traded my Titan of Industry for fucking, like, that, you know? Yeah, you can just do that. We're, uh, we're pretty much done at this point. Yep, yeah, resolve. King Darien for a freaking Anthem effect. Wow, dude. Wow, boys. Yep, yeah, that's, uh, he's looking good. 
Wow, he's popping off with Ginny Faye, boys. Good, good for freaking this dude, man. I do love to see it, man. Yeah, you should definitely be attacking, dude. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll take it. That's it. We're not uh, we're not going to do anything against that. Unfortunately, even with an Atali, what are we going to do? We can't coggle in Yudaro to uh, kill Mondrek anymore. We can kill Ginny Faye. That's great. You know, what What are we going to get from them that's amazing? Maybe Mondrak, maybe Ginny Faye. Is that really even good? We don't have tight, we don't have tribute, unfortunately. Well, that's what we really needed to do was just go nuts while they were going nuts. And unfortunately, we were doing okay and they were doing very nicely. And we did get Titan down, you know, we got a tally down, but without tribute to the world tree, like we really, uh, we really fizzled out there. Oh my god, Richard. You're not using proper, you're not using proper spelling, Richard. God damn it, that pisses me right off. Vowels are very important. Alright. Um, that scrap gorger into invasion, I guess. It probably won't happen. I just noticed Xander's Lounge. I'm ready to go right now. Right now. Don't get don't get invested in this one, boys. Don't catch feelings for this match, boys. Yeah, not gonna lie, boys. Choices are too difficult for this person. They should play this is somebody who should also play green, and they would be welcomed with open arms into the greeny meanie gang. But until then, you know, they, they learn a little slow. It's okay. They read a little slow, they play a little slow. They'll they'll get there. They'll realize, you know what? I've just been taxing my brain, my body, just too much, you know? Like, choices are too much for me. It's it's difficult, because, you know, we all have egos. We all have feelings, you know? It's it's tough to accept that and tell yourself, you know, I, I just don't have it anymore, you know what I mean? Or maybe I never had it to begin with. It's tough, but, you know, ultimately, it's better for you to just admit, you know, choices are too hard for me. I can't do it. And just start, just start slamming Rexes onto the field. There's nothing wrong with playing green. I have a blast. Uh, fine, we'll take this. It's really not the best. We're not ramping or anything. But we do have the four mana to get to Halan and Elena. We have triple green in case we happen upon tribute to the world tree. Okay, we have a backup Halan and Elena. That does not get cut down. We're feeling good. Maybe we'll even swing in with it. We'll see. Attack! The topiary's nice here. Wow, okay. They have the kill spell. They're really debating if they want to use it, though. Wow, dude. Does he take... He takes the damage. Okay. And we don't drop anything that's really better for him to kill in Topiary Stomper here. Alright, but it was probably worth it for him to uh, to check and see if it was. It was worth three life. That is a... Yeah, that's a tough... Uh, that's a tough choice. Uh, we have another red in hand, so I don't really feel like I need to get a third red down here. Jix. Wow. All right. Oh, another Topiary Stomper. Not bad. Um, I think I want it because it might get us a uh, land number seven next turn, which would enable both of these to attack and block and also a tally. And if we don't get it, then I won't be thrilled. Soren the Mirthless. Consider yourself fortunate. All right, they're starting to get their card advantage, so we need to be dropping something real good next turn. The land is good. Uh, something that can attack and block, like Canker Bloom, would be really good, because then we could drop Canker Bloom and Halan and Elena, swing it in at this. Tribute's good, too. Beautiful. 
There it fucking is, boys. This before combat. Beautiful. Another Itali. Home run. Wow. Stop, boys. Boys! There you go. We're doing something. And guess what? The Wandering Emperor is going to exile Jix. You'll love to see it. Take that card advantage. We will swing these both at Soren. Uh, I mean, do we? They have 13 life. Do we swing them both at Soren? I think so, honestly. We are going to have lethal here, you know. They're going to need to drop the land and hit Sunfall. Can they do it? They do depopulate. All right. That's definitely good. Um, however, we can go ahead and maybe drop Halan and Elena, get a plus one, plus one counter on it, I think, and then next turn do Halan and Elena and the 2-2 two -two creature. I kind of like that. <clears throat> I'd like to keep the Emperor around if we can. It's really nice with the uh, Halan and Elena there. Let's see if it sticks around. Pray for Halan and Elena, boys and girls. Takasia's welcome can fall to a uh, canker bloom. No artifacts and enchantments to destroy, but definitely a card to draw. So that's big good for them. Um, is it armored scrap gorger and another counter on this, and then swing with armored scrap gorger at four power toughness, or do we make this? Yeah, let, let's plus this. Let's plus it. We'll attack with both of these things. Uh, let's get rid of Soren and then Shieldred, Takanuma targets. Wandering Emperor is at three, so this hopefully won't be able to swing in and kill it. Okay, Kaya can probably exile Halan and Elena here. Overlords. Time for your spirit to move on. That very much sucks. Because now that thing swings in at the Wandering Emperor. Which pisses us off. So we need to get another creature here so we can drop Wandering Emperor and that or Halan and Elena and that. We actually drew another fucking Halan and Elena, boys. That's horrible. That's so bad. That's so bad. That's so bad. That's fucking rotten, boys. That's so fucking rotten. I mean, I think the I think you pretty much should probably block with that thing, right? Like, right? Because you can just make another one, and you'd lose Kaya. JK, just saying, my mom always gives me corrections. <laughs> wow, wow, man, wow. Good, good. You shouldn't be screwing it up. I like, I like that. I like her. All right. Well. Our chances are diminishing by the second here. They have card draw. We don't. We just got a miserable, miserable top deck there. It, it's mockery. Pure mockery. Another Halan and Elena. That's so bad. If they make the Kaya token, they lose Kaya, but they'll get a card out of Takasia's Welcome. They could also use its ability to draw two. Yeah, I was going to say, like, damn, man. Yeah, we'll scry. Uh, yep. All 
All right, can you please just tap out? Just just tap out, dude. Sunfall me. Go go ahead. Make my freaking day, dude. Hit your sunfall. He tapped boys. Can he can he get something really good? Are there amazing creatures in the grave here? Oh, our fucking Itali. Our fucking Itali. Well, we have to really pray that we can go hold on. Oh wait, he took my Atsushi. Oh right, because off the top of the library. All right, boys, we're uh we're uh fucking done here. That's uh. <sighs> boys. Okay. Okay. And did you have fun? Boy, oh man, we were so we were one card away. Oh no. It went the Dud Halan and Atlanta that we didn't need, and then the perfect Atsushi that we could fly over their, all their blockers and win. Or, well, I guess they had the uh, flying blocker, sorry, but Atsushi has trample too. Oh no, boys, that was. That was miserable, man. We had a chance, but with no tribute to the world tree, we were just uh, we were just a uh, slave to the top decks there, and unfortunately, they didn't treat us too well there. Just don't say Bombo Dial near here is all I'm saying. Thank you for the heads up. You got it. Let's let's keep this. I like dropping Canker Bloom. Now I... Do I? Yeah, fuck it. Maybe they're Esper, and rather than, uh... You know, rather than pass the land pass, maybe they'll kill it. Yeah, they are Esper, and they still land pass. Of course, can't stop that. Uh, that's gonna be Topiary. We need to grab the green. Hell yeah, Gray! Let's go, man! Yup! You are on, man, and if anybody else is out there brave or foolish enough to play Big Fat MTG, I always like taking challenges. Happy to face you guys. It's coming up on 9 o'clock here, so we're going to be winding down the stream. I got a uh, game up against Gray here. I know exactly what I want to face you with, Gray. As a matter of fact, I'm going to face you with that thing that uh, that I've been working on uh, that, that you told me about, man. Let's go ahead and drop this one and pass the turn. We resolve tribute. I think it's worth getting it down. Okay, Elspeth's going to be a royal pain in the rear. Kogla and Yudaro. Okay, so we want, I think, do we want Invasion or do we want Canker Bloom? Probably Invasion. We'll go and get uh, one of each here, green, red. It ensures Kogla and Yudaro. Canker Bloom allows us to start populating our field, but, you know. Kogla and Yudaro can come down and get Trample and Haste and swing right in at Archangel Elspeth. And, well, maybe not deal her too much damage, to be honest, right? Because she's going to be at six loyalty and have two blockers. We, we might be done already, honestly. Yeah, if they're not even doing anything here, this that's bad. All right. Destroy all other permanents. Um... I think we need to kill that with the Canker Bloom because we have tribute to the World Tree. We we need our tribute. So, um, right. I mean, we could also do Titan of Industry here because they're not going to be able to counter it, right? Right? I, I feel good about the Titan, honestly. And then we get two cards out of... Tri or, yeah, we get two cards out of tribute here because we're going to destroy and we're going to make the uh, Rhino. And we get to kill Archangel. That's huge. That's huge. Because I would have to assume that they have plenty of wipes. Yeah, this guy's an absolute fucking pleasure. Uh, Kogla, Daro, Haste, Trample. Flip that. Yep. We'll get a card out of this, too. We're going to drop Canker Bloom and then kill that thing.
All right, pass turn. Wait for their turn to do it. I assume they'll have one of their uh, large number of board wipes here. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and destroy target artifact. All right, boys. We're winning the game of stupid counters. We have tribute to the world tree, damn it. Tally on deck. All right, boys. Is that a tally or is that Coglany Daryl? I like a tally. Just give me stuff that I can draw. Oh, stop. Yup, they're fucked. Fucked. Loving it. Loving it, boys. All right. All right, shithead. Suck it. See how long it takes. Oh, that was pretty quick. Good. All right. Yeah, let's drop in Azusa's. Get that cooking. Flips over into a 3-3 creature, which draws us a card from Tribute to the World Tree. Yeah, more wipes? All right, are you done knocking my toys off the table? All right. Yep, he's not done knocking our toys off of the table, boys. Uh, do we want to drop that forest? Yeah. Let's make this uh, let's make this loser drop that shit. Drop the uh, the forest. Uh, no, let's drop the scrap gorger because it's not going to draw us a card with this. All right, there goes Vraska. Good. A lot of miserable idiot shit over there. Wow. Uh, Kongli Daro fight. Oh. Boy, boy, he, you, they just hate it when their deck full of board wipes can't beat a creature deck. Oh my god, boys, the power of just one tribute to the world tree. Oh my god, we cucked him with Liliana. Did you see what she discarded? Vraska and Elspeth. What? Wow. Wow, look at this miserable idiot shit. Couldn't beat a creature deck with a deck full of board wipes. Wow. Wow, the power of Tribute to the World Tree, boys. God, you'll love to see it. And of course he didn't let us swing. Of course he didn't say good game. The weird kid's done knocking our toys off the table. Now that we stuck our toys to the table, he just runs away to go knock somebody else's toys off the table. Love to see it, boys. Good game to us, not to him. Wow. We did it, boys. We, we the ones. Oh, God, I, I, I feel so good about that. Wow. And and he doesn't, and that makes me feel even better. God, you love to see it. We we had fun. He hates it. He's crying. Oh, my God. His clown makeup is just washing down his face. Oh, my God. Poor guy. He's crying into his rainbow wig right now. Oh, no, that's terrible. The ink from his red puffy nose, his little clown nose. Oh, God, it's dripping down his face, too. Poor guy. That's terrible. And it's staying, staining his white and red clown shirt. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. Oh, wow. Fine. We'll take this one. Get rid of, uh, Coglany Daro? Yeah. I think, I think I'm dead already. I think Gray's gonna kill me. Venerated Rock Priest. Wow. Two Death Touchers. Jesus. Okay, man. Gray's, Gray's off to a start. Next turn, we have Azusa's into Cankerbloom. It's not terrible. If we draw tribute to the world tree, um, Azusa's pass might be the best option, honestly. Depends how badly I feel I need stuff on the field. Oh, thank you, Rick. Wow. Wow. I love it, Richard. Thank you. Uh, we will block that, I think. It's a death toucher, but it prevents the first poison from being put on us. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's going to be, uh, hang on, how do I do this, how do I do this, do I drop this, and then do one, two, Azusa's, and then, and then I can't do tribute, okay, so, we have to take the fucking turn off, which royally sucks against that. That, that really royally sucks.
but he has two cards in hand. He's dealing us really good really good uh, toxic damage here, but he doesn't have that enchantment yet on his creatures that gives him an extra, like, two toxic. That's brutal, especially with the Rot Priest out. Wow. Okay, that's that's a lot of toxic. That's like four poison counters right there. Wow. All right. Wow. That's horrifying. All right. Start with Canker Bloom. See what we get here. Oh, we want another Canker Bloom. Okay, you know what? Azusa's into getting an extra land on the field, fine. Because next turn, if we top deck a land, maybe, just maybe, we get Coggling Yudaro down to fight the Flyer. He gets two more poison here, which fucking sucks. Because if he has anything in his hand that targets, he wins. So we're, we're just we're just praying he doesn't, because he's got pretty much lethal right here. Toxic one, and then if he can target any of his stuff, he could do it here. Crawling Chorus. Okay, he's not quite there yet, so he might only attack with the 1-1. One, one, unless he wants to be a real cowboy. I like it. He's being a cowboy. I like it. Yep. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough going here, boys. Scrap Gorger's okay, but that doesn't really do it. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we're we're not doing anything there, unfortunately. I guess I could have proliferated Canker Bloom to get another card here, but then we're at two mana. We're down a blocker, you know. You know what? Oh, let's do it now anyway. Oh, wait, what are you doing? You're proliferating? Oh, nope, not until I proliferate first. Thank you. Because I, I want to see my top deck. Okay. Well, we weren't going to be able to do that one. There you go. Good game, Gray, man. Woo! Well, man, yo, those games against you get pretty intense if you don't just close me out with poison, because you're usually just ready to close me out with poison there. Damn, man. Damn, man. Good game. Good freaking game, man. Aggro poison counters, my dude. All right, man. Woo! Well, I see that we're up to 9 o'clock, so I really appreciate everybody uh, coming by here today. Thank you for your likes. Yes, great. GG back at you, man. Very well played. So we're probably going to uh, end this stream with maybe this game or the next game. I hope everybody's had a good time. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching us play a tally. Maybe flip a tally a couple of times. I know I sure as hell did. We're going to keep this hand. See if we uh, can't blossom this hand out into a beautiful game. Oh beautiful uh yeah let's drop the scrap gorger here i don't mind paying it off into atsushi i have to discard that's canker bloom all right we get a beater in the air Oh, I should have proliferated my own shit. I should have, because then you wouldn't have won. I would have conceded. Shit, you're right, Gray. Damn it. I could have taken that victory from you. Oh, uh, what do we get rid of? The Canker Bloom? Probably. We, we could get rid of the Topiary Stomper. Let's get rid of Canker Bloom. All right, beautiful. We have five mana. We drop everything out of our hand. We'll start by attacking. All right, so Kinker Bloom and this guy. Might as well drop it. We're, we're facing up against some discard here. Up oh, shit, you know, I should have gotten a red there. Whatever. The Armored Scrap Gorger is going to have to do a little more lifting then. Alright, that really smells like the Wandering Emperor, boys. I don't think I want to attack with Atsushi here. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the uh, oil counter for Armored Scrap Gorger there, honestly. Yeah, that's Wandering Emperor, a bazillion percent. No way in fucking hell it isn't. 
Yeah, they didn't even memory de Oh, they didn't memory deluge because they only have one uh, blue. But still, they had something to do there. Wow, okay. That blocks Atsushi, which really sucks. We need the land here, boys. They're tapped out. Um, pisses me the fuck right off, boys. Because we're up against the discard deck. Uh, that's going to be passed, because if I attack in, then these things are going to come back to their hand. Although, I guess, wait, I could I could Armored Scrap Gorger that and interfere, because, uh, yeah, that's a triggered ability that goes on the stack, so I could steal their things out of their graveyard that way. All right. Come on. We need something worthwhile here. Fucking anything, boys. Uh, do we block with Atsushi here? I honestly think that doing... Oh, it got exiled? Oh, I, I must have missed that. That was my bad. Oh, if a creature and opponent drills would die... Ex okay, well, that's very bad, then. That's very bad. Okay, they hit Arena. Uh, I think we probably kill Arena. Right, our Canker Bloom gets exiled, um, so we still won't get the card with Armored Scrap Gorger. Um, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it, though. We, we've got to, we've got to get rid of it. Okay, come on. Fuck you. At least we can play it, so I, never mind, not fuck you. Alright, please resolve. Please resolve. Yes. Alright. We have a shot here, a shot in hell. Okay, that's good. They, they just... Sacrifice one of those things, though, actually. So that's not good. Because we're going to discard the other Itali now. Yep, that'll come back to their hand. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, Scrap Gorger action there. I think we might hit a board wipe here. Can't see why with this thing they wouldn't run board wipes, get these guys back. So let's not get attached to that Itali, unfortunately. Wow! All right, we get an attack with the tally. Uh, hmm. yeah, instead of having a tally blocked like boom, 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 maybe we should drop Halan and Elena here. Just with that. We have the Armored Scrap Gorgers to exile their stuff here. Okay. That's uh end the turn. I feel so overextended. All right, we lose a tally. They're considering double blocking, triple blocking a tally who will be 11 11 next turn. Otherwise, I think attacking with the life linking 4 5 is easy there. Alright, they attack with both of them. Wow, alright. Lana well, Elena does have reach. They have 4 mana, though. It's Wandering Emperor stuff. Okay, boys, if we get a land, we can flip a tally here. That turns it into a 11-11 plus a 4. Hang on, 11-11. That It's going to be a 15 by the time we attack. They have to block 6. They can't do that. We should win.
That should be it just with a tally. I see how much toughness on their side? Now that I think about it, I see six toughness on their side. Never mind. Sorry about that. I think I think we lost there. Ah, uh, oops. My bad. Not exactly. Oh shit. But they they gain life. Ah oh, shit, they gained the life. Yep, I think they uh, they got that one. Unfortunately, I shouldn't have attacked with Halan and Elena there. Shit. All right. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, good game. Damn it. That's too bad. I'll I'll wait. Yeah, good game. He uh, he just swung in. He sees it. Good for him. Ah, oh, shit. Shouldn't have attacked with Halan and Elena there. I do wonder if they would have had a kill for Halan and Elena. Ah, oh, shit, man. I got I got excited with my Itali math there. Oh, but I I'm gonna stand by my Itali math there. In that, I'm not going to play another game just to fucking write that. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to let the stream end on that fucking note. Never mind, I can't let it end on that fucking note. I'm going to play another one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I can't stick by that Italian math. I'm sorry. I, I can't do that. I have to try one more. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Okay, boys. This time we got this. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. All right. I mean, if we're going to face an aggro deck, I guess, at least we have a... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's get that down. So, Azusa's Tribute. I, I love this opener here. Oh, boy. Let's wait for permission. All right. Yeah, we're going to uh, find another opponent. We're... we're not gonna sit here for this shit. No way. No fuck. I I did my time, dude. I faced one blue white person today. I think that's more than enough. I I paid my debt to Magic Arena Society. Okay, I did it. I did it. They didn't let me swing in. You survive board wipe after board wipe with your creature deck, and they don't have the decency to give you the moment of uh, satisfaction. You still get, you know, you still get the victory, but yeah, you know, it's it's social skills. You know, you, you can't let your opponent win. Okay. Uh yeah, yeah, let's take it. Hopefully, Azusa's can pay off into a turn three Halana. We like this. We like it. Guys got these nice sleeves from the freaking. Uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Pass. Really cool. I actually really like that Tesseret Planeswalker. Wow, we're on the... I just looked, we're on the Neon Dynasty playboard here. The Neon Dynasty sleeves. Is that Sarkon Avatar too? I don't really know. but It looks kind of similar to this guy. That's some mark on his forehead here. It could be him. He had similar dreadlocky hair. All right? I can see it. Really like that. All right. There he is. There's my boy. All right. If you're actually playing blue, though, can you, can you play some type of, like... Oh, this guy isn't Sarkon. Tezzeret. My bad. Yeah, I kept calling him Sarkon. It's freaking Tezzeret. All right. All right. Come on. Give me either a land top deck that enters untapped or tribute to the world. No, I won't be able to cast that. Never mind. Give me give me the land. Preferably a green land. And then give me tribute to the world tree. Yep, thank you, Gray. Yeah, my, my bad there. Yeah, it's not Sarkon. Sarkon's a dragon guy. This guy's pretty cool, though. Still in standard for another year. He's really good with those incubate tokens because uh, the Planeswalker has uh, the first activated ability of an artifact that you um, play each turn. Costs two colorless less to uh, activate, right? So you just get them a free incubate every turn. Uh, yours and your opponent's. That's pretty darn good. My god, dude. Just attack. Buddy, come on, man. Come on, dude. No one, no wonder he has blue blue player sleeves. I, I get it. I get it. It's a warning.
I, I the you know the application might have crashed. It doesn't look like there's really any signs of life here. I, I can't tell if he's just in another tab. Come on, man. There he is. Hey! All right. You know what? At least we got the land. So we go Canker Bloom here. Canker Bloom will be all right against these enchantments. We have the capacity to sacrifice it, destroy whatever. Calyx. Well, that's the guy that we'll destroy. Yeah, Canker Bloom is so nice when you're up against that deck. Come on, don't don't kill my enchantment, man. I, I need that body on the field so I can deposit the Halan and Elena counters, man. Come on. Just let me do it. He attacks with the Death Toucher. So I'm going to get the swing in with the 5-5, five, five, most likely here. Yeah, I like Halan and Elena here. Just turn this thing into a, a threat right now. Now there's two things they have to deal with. We like that. Halan and Elena also gets the first strike block on their Death Toucher. They do have a basic land for ossification purposes. Yeah, it looks like that's happening. Cool. Who are they getting rid of, though? Okay, do they have two ossifications, then? Oh, fuck. Cool. What a great interactive game. Alright, um... Honestly, anything would be pretty good here. Invasion of Zendikar would be pretty good. A land would be alright. That thing is big right now. Uh, Canker Bloom is actually alright here, I think. Um, right, because Topiary Stomper just doesn't do it here, unfortunately. Um, let's go ahead and uh, pass the turn, right? I don't see really anything else to do here. Let's go ahead and pass. So I guess what we can do is we can block the Fenga Shigeki with Canker Bloom and then sacrifice it to destroy the ossification that uh, Halan and Elena is under. It re really sucks how hard we're playing from the back foot here. The this land situation is killing us. We want to be ramping. We have as many lands as them. I could have Topiary on the field, but then I would just die to lethal, so... Jesus fucking God. All right, cool. Well, I pretty much have to sacrifice to destroy the Fenga Shigeki now. I mean, you didn't even win, dude. Like, that's, pre that's pretty corny to go look in your chat wheel and then not even close out the game. That's pretty corny. And you probably still win, but, like, that's mad cheesy, my dude. Uh, that's some horse shit. That's some fucking shit. Um, let's drop it. That's really shitty, though. It just now... I, I don't know what it should have been. A canker bloom maybe would have been fine. But it's just... If you're going to chat, we'll at least make sure you have the victory, you know? Like, we, we had the canker bloom there, you know? Just destroy target enchantment, you know? Like... Hit, hit you with the mic drop and then don't close out the game. That's uh, you know, he's still probably gonna win. It's an e it's a very easy game for him right now. We've been handcuffed nicely for him. Uh, 
unfortunately, we're probably not doing much now. Unless we get the land into a tally into something incredible. Dude, you should probably attack. Alright, at least we have a chance here. At, at least we get to drop the Itali here. Yeah, and Azusa's many journeys and a fucking just screw you. Now it's good game. And, hang on, hang on. Hey, hey go ahead, swing. Swing it, you earned it, buddy. You earned it. Good job. Nice. Wow. Good play. Wow. Good job. Wow. Yeah. Hit the hit the mic drop, man. You got this. Nice. Yes, Gray. Yes, you can Italy off Italy. God, that's the best part of running freaking for them. He chat wheels again. God, boys. I mean, oh God. Uh, mic dropping your not actual end of the game. <laughs> Just good God, dude. Good God, buddy. Come on. Like the what, what you really told me is I can't analyze board state, and that's why I copied and pasted the top deck. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Your chat wheel. That's how, right. Isn't that the top of the like best of one? Isn't isn't there a lot of best of three running Calix Selesnya enchantments as well? I'm pretty sure the Calix and Selesnya enchantments is a pretty big deal now. I don't know if it's winning the, the tours or whatever, you know? But, like, Jesus Christ, buddy. And you know what? At least he hasn't gone and sought, like, refuge from competition in unranked. I will give the guy that. At least he's there trying to grind ranked. So I, I can appreciate that. But, like, boys, if, if you're going to chat wheel your mic drop or whatever... Make sure you end the game. So um, tomorrow we'll be playing some more standard boys and girls. Not sure what it's uh, not sure what it's gonna be yet, but you know it'll be it'll be something. It'll be fun. It'll be back here on uh, Big Fat MTG at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the Worst Magic the Gathering stream. I appreciate everybody coming by. Shiba Inu there, if you're out here, man. I appreciate that because I know I've seen that uh, that name for uh, quite a while, man. So I appreciate that viewership. Gray, thank you, man. Good game to you, too. Have a good one. Richard Dragon, it's always nice to see you, man. I appreciate you being here, too. I know I got a couple more people, right? I know I got a few more. There's Shiba Inu. Hell yeah, man. GC was here. There he is. Hell yeah, GC. I appreciate you coming by, man. Whew. Who else did we have? Johnny. There he is. Freaking Johnny Civil Savage here, too. Let's go, man. Yeah. Pretty good turnout here. I hope you guys uh enjoyed watching the uh, tally. As I just scroll up through chat really quickly, just seeing uh, who's here. Saying, saying thank you for coming by, for leaving the like on the stream. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Uh, wow, is that a... Wow, okay, man. You guys stayed for a while, too. I really appreciate that, man. Stromo, what there he is. Stromo, hell yeah. Good game. Thank you, Stromo. Arctic Penguins. Hell yeah, Arctic Penguins. I hope I don't remember saying uh, hi back to that. I hope I did. Thank you for coming by, man. All right, boys and girls, take care of yourselves. 